What is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Night. Here to have a cardboard, teach, play, discuss. Y'all know the deal. I'm your host, Edward Euler. I'm Ken. Martin. Also Martin. There you go. All right, tonight we're busting out Fayum, uh, designed by Freedom and Freeze, the Freedom and Freeze, published by uh, his company, 2F Spiele, as well as Rio Grande here in the States. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this one, so big thanks to Rio Grande for the review copy of this. They're a partner of ours anyways. Uh, so, FAM came out two years ago, right, because we, uh, we actually, this got revisited this last week because we were talking about uh, possible Golden Elephant Award winners, yep. or if not winners, but finalists, games that we could foresee being finalists. Yep. And so we had kind of made a rough list of it and started working our way through it. This got some run, and pretty much everybody really enjoyed this one, and it got lost in the shuffle, I feel like. It, yeah. They're really, have y'all heard a lot of, like, anything, even when it had come out? I mean, I, I think I read a little bit about it when it came out. But, but that's but that's my point, we, right? We, ne we never really played it. I, think there was a, I, I did a solo. solo. I did yeah. it right. That was it. Yeah. 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 I heard about the mechanism for administration, which was kind of unique, and it tweaked my interest enough to, to buy a copy of it. Yeah. Um, I hadn't gotten it into the table <laughs> until uh, we played this Saturday. We didn't play my copy, but I'm planning on teaching this in 10 days for my regular group. I'm really looking Well, there you go. And so we busted this out. And like, yeah, we need to, we actually need to stream this. Well, and to be fair, at the risk of name dropping, Cole really recommended it. <laughs> <laughs> he did. So after the John Company stream last week, we sat around talking for two hours. Hour, a couple, yeah, hour right? and a half, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And, and uh, so Cole can't be a, a, a uh, uh, on the panel for Golden Elephant Award because he's a designer. He'd have to recuse himself, designer, publisher, the whole nine yards. So we were talking about it, and then he brought this up, and, and it came up in the Golden Elephant Award yeah. discussion. We were like, yeah, yeah so we... give this a go. There you go. So that, that's a very long way of saying, hey, we're bringing it to you, and that's why. So, yay. Um, tonight's teach is going to be abbreviated because, honestly, it's a hand builder, kind of deck builder, sort of, in a way that Concordia is a deck builder, uh, that... The rules, a lot of the rules are kind of on the cards, so I'm going to give an overview of it. I'm going to talk about our starting hands, and then we're going to just, yeah, as we'll we do things, cards, and, right? yeah, yeah. And, and do that as, as they come out. So I know they're ready. Hopefully you all are. Let's go and get to it. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm not going to bother bringing down the cameras uh, for this, honestly. So what is it you all are looking at? All right, welcome to FAM. We have victory point track, well, around half the board anyways, so sort of around the outside. Uh, we will eclipse 50 points, possibly eclipse 100 points. Those are there when we get it. These are the end game deck of 12 cards there. Eight of them are set in stone what those eight are. Uh, the other four are random. We have another regular deck, which has 12 cards of it dealt out, eight of them out here, the four highest numbered, which is a little number in the top right hand corner, the four highest get shuffled in with the eight end game cards shuffled up. We know what those four are. We've already looked at those, so we kind of have an idea of that. Shuffled up, boom, that's all set, all right? We have the market of eight cards over there. We have the deck, which is the timer of the game. And then we have two peninsulas here. I didn't know this until really researching about the game, but fam, it's in Egypt. It's a real place. I just, because Freedom and Freeze really, or Freedom and really likes F, because, yeah. Anyway, so fame, real place, Egypt. Anyway, two peninsulas. Uh, we have the uh, big and the smaller peninsula. You have a little canal, a little river runs through it. Why does that matter? Because there's going to be bridges. When we're talking adjacency in this game, adjacency means a hex next to a hex. Even if there is a bridge that connects two he uh, hexes, hexes loosely, but you get the idea. Two sides of the river, those are, will never be adjacent. Keep that in mind, okay? Also, you'll notice there are a lot of crocodiles. They are, in fact, saltwater crocodiles. I've never encountered one, don't ever want to. They're like 24 feet long, terrifying, really aggressive. Anyway, there's a bunch of them. There are also settlement, uh, settlements. One starting settlement, and then I keep wanting to call these monument spaces. Building sites. Those. There are building sites out there as well. There is a dam that has a road on it. 
And that's pretty much it, everything you're looking at. Everybody has a starting hand of identical five cards. You'll see those in detail here in a minute. And there are, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve different containers of various things, resources, and such. I'm not going to go over those. You'll see them as they come out. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have their own little tableau where they're going to play cards and keep their resources. Okay? All right. So, how do you play FAM? Well, pretty simple. That on your turn, you're going to do one of three things. You are either going to play a card from your hand down to your tableau into your discard pile and do whatever that is. Or you're going to buy a card from the market. Or you're going to do administration, which is kind of Pick your cards back up, some of them, and do some other stuff. Those are the three things. Rinse and repeat. Every time somebody takes administration, we're going to burn the card, the lowest card that has one of these discount markers on it, bring out a new card. Every time somebody buys a card from the market, we're going to refill the market. Because again, the timer is that deck of cards. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. That's it. Now, I will go ahead and go over our starting hand of cards. Like I mentioned, everybody has three bowers, which Ken will call them. They're yeah. farmers in English. So there are three farmers, a two roads card, a settlement card, and everybody also has an administration card over on the side. All right? So let me go ahead and talk about what these cards do. These are kind of the basic cards in the game that allow you to do a lot of the things that are available in this game, not everything, but a lot of the things, and we'll talk about the other things as we go, but these are kind of the three core basic actions. So starting with the farmer, you'll notice it has an S up in the top hand corner, right? Uh, it doesn't have a number, it's just a starting card. You'll notice all of them have that. Also, you'll notice that there are two little tiny crocodiles at the top of the farmer cards, but not the two roads and not the settlement card. That's going to be an important thing. Then it has uh, what the action does in hieroglyphics, the what you get for that in green, or the cost that you must pay in red, and then you get the green. Important to note, you must be able to do the entire card. So, for instance, if there's only one road left, you know what you can't do? Place two, two roads. roads. So you can't play that card. That card's going to be a dead card in your hand. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But anyway, starting off with the farmer. First thing is send a worker out onto the board, okay? Where it must go to an undeveloped resource space. Okay, there are three different resources in this game. Stone, grapes, and wheat. Pretty straightforward on that. Mm -hmm. What does undeveloped mean? Undeveloped means it's not a building site, first off. And it doesn't have any wood on that site, except so maybe a crocodile. crocodile. That's it. Crocodiles, yes, they're wood, but indulge me. Okay? So it can't have a road. It can't have uh, settlement. a settlement on it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? But you take a worker, which there's these, and these are piece limited. You put it out adjacent to existing workers. It can have a crocodile. It does not have to have a crocodile. When you place it. Well, you'll notice that first time somebody plays a, a farmer, there is none. So where do you put it? Anywhere you want, following those rules, right? So basically a resource space. When you put it out there, technically they're supposed to be standing up. I'm not going to worry about that because there's only really, I think, one card where that comes into play. We'll cross that bridge. We'll probably stand those up when we need to, but there you go. Place a worker out there. Get the matching resource. So in that case... A stone, a grape, or a wheat. Okay, easy enough there. Boom, done. However, if there is a crocodile on that space, hey, good news. You kill the crocodile. Get a buck. Done. That's it. And crocodiles are one-way trips. They are out of the game permanently. They will never come back onto the board. Mm. Easy enough? And now, hey, all workers must go adjacent to, or all far farmers must go adjacent to that unless you have a rule breaker that says otherwise. That makes sense? Yes. So, get a resource, and if you remove a croc, get a buck. Okay, boom, done. Cool. Easy enough. All right, next card, two roads. All right, this is probably the most complicated, and it's not complicated. You must build two roads, each of which must connect two adjacent crocodile-free spaces. So, can't be on a crocodile space. And they either have to emanate from a settlement a building site or extend 
existing bridges or roads. We haven't talked about bridges because there's cards that build bridges. We'll talk about those later. So extending a road, pretty simple. Here, I could do like that. It crosses a border between two spaces. When you do so, you must pay one resource per road that you build. Two roads, you're gonna be paying two resources. Okay, pretty straightforward. What kind of resource? Is it your choice? Maybe. The reason I say maybe, this has stone on either side. No choice in that, you're paying a stone. But indulge me, and let's say I were to build something, eh, better yet, let's, I can't do this, but just indulge me. And those were crocodile free, and I was extending something, whatever. I could pay a wheat or a grape, my choice. That's how I get the choice for doing so. That's building two roads for the most part, okay? If for the first time you are connecting two settlements, so more settlements will come out on the board because we have a lot of those, two building sites or a building site and a settlement, anytime you connect those for the first time, you get a buck. I'm sorry, you get a point, not a buck. You get a, a reputation, it's called, but mm -hmm. a point the first time you do that. So theoretically, if you connect two different groups of things, you could get two points for building two roads. Mm -hmm. In addition to the three points or three reputation you're going to get after you've built your two roads. Easy enough? Yeah, I, I think there's one other rule, no hubs except out of a settlement. Yes, that That's is right. true. So you can't branch. Exactly, you can't branch off except settlement. So settlement could, this settlement could have one, two, three, four spokes coming off of it. That's it. Yep. Okay. All right. So now that we've talked about settlements, how do you build them? Well, pretty straightforward. You guessed it. It's going to take one of each of the three basic resources, a wheat, a grape, and a stone, and you can place a settlement on any uh, crocodile-free resource space that is, yeah, yeah, out there. However, there's one settlement out there. They must be a minimum of one space in between each settlement. So. Mm -hmm closest the settlement could be is here, there, etc. Can't right. go on to building sites as well. And those are technically considered developed. Easy enough. Hey, mm -hmm. you get three bucks and three points. Yep. Pretty straightforward on that. So those are all the basic cards. Obviously, there are more that are going to come out. We'll talk about those when we get them. So play a card from your hand. Buy a card paying this amount. Three, four, five, or seven. If it has a, a discount on it, it's a discount of one. There will only ever be a maximum discount of one. Mm -hmm. The four cards that are available there are not available to be purchased. Those are upcoming cards, but they are not for sure going to conveyor. Right. Okay, because these are numbered, if you take a look here, they are numbered lowest, so that's a number four, and the highest number over towards Martin is 68. 68. They will always go lowest number. 72. You line, so, okay, no, four to 72. Mm. They will always go lowest to highest. So yeah. if a new card comes out that is lower than 30, it will actually come out back in there. So that mm -hmm. means those will not convey her down. That's why this is not actually here or at the other end. That makes sense? Yes. All right, so buying a card, immediately refill the market, easy enough. All right. Last thing you can do is administration. Hey, I don't want to do either of those two things, then I must do administration. Pretty straightforward, I think. Get three bucks minus the number of cards in your hand. You'll never owe money. So if you have seven cards left in your hand and you choose to do admin, that's minus four, technically you just get no money. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward. Then you may, and this is always a may, remove zero, one, or two workers from the board, anywhere on the board. For each worker that you remove, you get a buck. So more often than not, people are going to be pulling workers off. You can pull them off from anywhere that are that is out on the board. Then, note this, take back the top three cards of your discard stack. You do not take your whole stack of cards. If you have a discard of seven, a stack of seven, you get the top three. You never, ever, ever shuffle your discards. So you're gonna take top three then, and note, you're gonna get your money for taking workers back. You then may buy back additional top cards in order, top to bottom, 
Um, you know, because they're facing, you, you know what I mean, common sense. A buck per card that you wish to take back. You are never required to take back more than those three, but you are required to take back those three. Okay, easy enough. Then, in a four-player game, hey, that's us, replace one card in the market. Which card? It's going to be the card that has the marker that's furthest to the left, or lowest value, if you will, um, card number. Mm -hmm. Though some of these markers will end up down there. It'll make sense as we get going, but otherwise, that's it. We continue playing until that deck runs out. Then, we take those 12 cards, bring them over. Then, there are four catastrophes that are going to come out. They will always be the four highest number cards. It just works out that way. Once the fourth catastrophe comes out and is there, no one is allowed to take administration anymore at that point. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to take any cards back into your hand, essentially, okay? But, once the fourth catastrophe comes out, you may then, on your turn, in lieu of taking any of the normal three actions, just take one of the catastrophes out there and you say, that's it, I'm done with fam. That's it, your, your game is over. They range from zero points to ten points, so probably if you're the last one, or the first one, probably gonna take ten pointer. If you're the last one, you take zero. When you take the last one, the game's over for everybody. Any kind of final scoring, do that. Whoever has the most points win, that's fam. Any questions? No? Good. Let's get started. All right. All right. That was succinct, I think, right? Should I explain oh, the four cards that are ah, available? Fine. Go ahead. Yeah. So we got revenue. Play it. You get five bucks. No other requirements. Also, the game has cardboard money, but uh, Martin Fowler's here, so I didn't want to get ridiculed. Yeah. So we're using poker chips. So that <laughs> might be worth explaining a rule, then, that any time you can always play a card and not Oh, uh, you know what? Dollars. This is an easy thing to forget, yep. okay? <laughs> so, on the back side of your administration card, there's a handy dandy little thing here. And it says, at any point, if you wish, you can uh, replace any resource uh, to be able to pay. So, for instance, I have, let's say I have a wheat and a stone, but I don't have a grape. I can pay three bucks, and that's a grape, yep. so to speak. You can do that numerous times. So if I have no resources, I can pay nine bucks. I don't think, I I don't think so. I don't think so. You can only do it once. I am lying to you. You're right. You can only do that once yep. per action. You are correct. Yes. The last thing, and this is the part that I wanted to point out that is really, really easy to forget. You can play a card essentially just to discard it to get two bucks. That is really easy to forget. Or really easy, yeah, to forget. Don't forget that, because again, it's on the back side. Of Edmund, there. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. Go through the other cards. Okay, so this one is the senior farmer, uh, and it works the same as the farmer. You, you place it the same way. It also has crocodiles, so it means you can take crocodiles with it. Uh, but instead of taking one of the appropriate resource, you take two. Okay. This one here is the grape supplier. So in this one, you place a worker onto a settlement that does not already contain a worker. And you would take, in this case, two grapes. Yep. Okay. Easy this enough. is the stone supplier, and it works just like the grape supplier, except you get two stone instead of two grapes. There we go. Now, uh, I, the reason we're covering these up is so we can actually see the action. Yep. The important thing for us here is see that's card number 16. Every card is here in this little glossary for if you're not sure, and we will reference this from time to time. Yeah. It's invaluable. It's really useful. There we go. Cool. Done. Yep. All right. Uh, randomized turn order, somebody? Yeah, look at this. I assume Martin has Ooh, his. this is a deck I haven't seen. Ooh, oh, look, it's all connected. Well, we're not fully randomizing. We're just seeing who goes first and then going clockwise. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. right, fine. Okay. It is not me. Uh, it is Martin the Younger. Huh? All right. Okay, so there okay. we go. Now, uh, the starting money is three for first, four, four, and five. Oof. Wait, so by that rationale, you don't want to go third because you don't get the benefit of going fourth, oh, second. nor the benefit of going second. So, it is what it is. All right. All right. So, uh, the game already hates Edward. In other news, water's red. <laughs> All right. That's cool. I'm going to spend three, and I'm buying this, which is the senior farmer. Okay. And those go into your hand yep. when you purchase them. All right. New card. Eight, the Hermit. Okay. Place next to nothing else. So it, it's not the normal worker placement rules. But when you place it, get two points. 
There you go. So you can place it here, even though there are other workers out there. It's an easy way to get onto the smaller peninsula early. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to point out, whenever we replace cards from the market that are purchased, we do not put the discount back out there. Okay. Discount only comes out during administration. We'll show how it works the first time we do it. There you go. Boom, yeah. done. Just so happened to be coincidental that it went in the same spot of the one I took. We reordered right. it. it yeah. Exactly, right. right. Orders in power grid. Four, style. 16. Yeah. Yep. Right, That's there right. you go. Okay. Well, I'm going to purchase that uh, revenue uh, card. I didn't find That's that really useful low. in my last game. Well, I... now you tell me. Oh, look out. <laughs> how bizarre. How bizarre. No, too soon. OMC. So, right. mm. What popped OMC? in? Is that OMC? Yeah, it is. Good call. He's all the right. Marketer. Uh, you place that into an unoccupied settlement. Pay a dollar. Uh, up to one to three times, you pay one dollar and get one resource, including fish. Right. Fish are just another non basic resource, mm -hmm. which it's right. going to come into play when we talk yeah. about the others. There, now, there are buildings out there to use fish. So, yeah, so if you pay three dollars, you can get three resources, and they can be three different resources. Right. Or the same. Or the same. Right. Yep. Uh, the other four cards we're not talking about because honestly, we'll just talk about them when they come out. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, two and a half glory to realms. We have not been using those the last like three, four streams. I haven't marked one up there. Hmm. It's really bizarre. Really bizarre. bizarre. Okay. I'm done. All right. My turn. Um, well, no, <sighs> you know, it's just money, right? So. I can't afford it, can I? No, I cannot. What? Uh, do, well, well. This guy? Yes. So I cannot. Yeah. So uh, I'll go and play a farmer. Okay. So there you we go. You can control where the... Where the I, I do. It's going to go on a crocodile. Um, I'm going to... Seems reasonable. I'm going to do something a little obscure, or maybe off the beaten path. I'm going to go ahead. So I get a buck. A buck for taking a croc off, and I get a grape, because grapes... Uh, I, you know what, we'll just do that, yeah. that's fine. All right, and that, those are gonna have to move. Okay, so a grape and a buck. Thank you. All right, Done. on the theory Thank that, you. there we go. It's less fun to place farmers in stone spaces because you don't get crocodiles. I'm gonna buy a stone supplier. Okay, hmm. and that was four bucks for that, right? Yep. What do we get as its replacement? Oh, right. It's not my turn. I wasn't worried about it. Stone supplier was never an option for me. I wasn't rich enough. Novices. So, we now get the perfumer. Uh, so, place a worker in an unoccupied settlement. Pay a rose, which we haven't seen a way to produce yet, but they're, trust us, they're out there. And get three three points. You can do that twice if right. you have two roses. And the okay. roses are interesting because they're wild card resources. They are wild resources. Yeah, right. though, though you'd have to be pretty wild to use up roses or something else when you can get three uh, points for it. Points yeah, for right. it. Right. Yeah. Well, until another card comes up that uses roses even more. Efficient. Sure. There are. But sure. There. Yeah. You could mm -hmm. be the person who produces roses and not the person who has that card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right. that's yeah. certainly true. Right. All right. So I'm obviously not buying anything and I'm not doing administration with several cards played, so I'm going to play a farmer. And my choice is a grape or a wheat. Um, I will take a... You could have been meaner and gone here and left me no choice, but uh, um, we've well, placed. Well, no, you would have had stone. Oh, you that's still true. Could've. That's no, true. No, no, but no. I wouldn't have. Before, I wouldn't have gotten a dollar. Right? Well, I know yeah. what you're not getting. Meaner would have been, yeah. right. been there, uh, right? To where it's just wheat. <laughs> you <laughs> will take uh, the wheat. Yeah. Like you know what? To, I'm, I'm going to do that. One of those restaurants that, uh, you know, chefs taste it like. It, no, I will have the food and the drink. There we go. Okay. I'm going to also go for wine. Uh, okay. Pop me a worker on the spot. Yeah, you are. I'll take my wine and my crocodile fee. Okay. All right. Well, now, now we got some stuff going. Mm -hmm. Um. So I could get more grapes. In hindsight, probably, maybe should have done that. And you lock someone else out of grapes. Yeah. Um. I mean, I could, I could buy that, but the, the problem is there's only That's one settlement me. right now. And oh. I'm not going to be the first one to do it, so I don't think I'm going to. I, hmm. 
Yeah, no, I'm gonna stay on target. I think... Yeah, I am gonna stay on target. So, I'll play another farmer. I'll get a stone. Will I know I will get a wheat and a buck? A wheat and a buck. I will play my first card. Power time. Gonna check power. Play there and grape and dollar. Well, I'm gonna continue with what I've been doing. And let's go with resource diversity. And I'm also going to continue the farming habit. Uh, I'll do my wheat here, please. And again, crock fee and wheat. Farmers everywhere. Er, by a farmer. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, I'm tempted by the hermit a little. Sure. But not. Uh, everybody must get stoned. So that's just the stone, no cash. Okay. Done. Another bower. One one thing that I think that we're probably all thinking about, but I know I'm thinking about, is that I don't probably want to pick up all of my farmers at the end at the end of this round. Mm-hmm. And so I'm intentionally playing them first so they'll be at the bottom of my deck. Yep. Yeah, same. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm doing the same thing and should have. Uh, because those that. are weaker, right? Yep. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all out there have played FAM? Yeah. Farmer? Uh, and how many of y'all out there had not heard of FAM until we're doing this? I'm curious because, you know, to carry forward the whole mm -hmm. A, it's, it's been obscure. All right. I still need money. So, a wheat and a dollar. And yes, the farming continues, but this time I'm farming for stone, which is not something that normally rolls off the tongue. So no money for me, but I do get the stone. It means that how Edward is now ready to settle. Yeah, I am, it? but I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna pay five bucks. I th am I four bucks? Oh yeah, five bucks. Mm. Ooh, it's so good. I mean, Not being sure. able to get the extra resources, like, but it costs money is the problem, right? Mm. That's the only downside of being able. But you know what? What the hell? Let's try it. So mm. I will go ahead and take the marketer. All right. And that reveals the supplier at which 28, will. which happens to pop right into that same spot and give you what you were looking for in the first place, which it is was. Two, two, two resources of your choice for free. Including, so it's basically, you can only do it twice, but it's a better version of the marketer. Mm, but it's mm -hmm. free. Yeah. Okay. Gross. So. Bring your money over a little bit. Stuff that I would like there you go. To cool. Do. All right, I'll roll the dice a little bit. I'm going to spend three and take the great supplier in my hand. And that will reveal new settlement, which Same is spot. yep a, a slightly better version of the settlement card we have. It's two of any resource, including fish, um, for the same benefit. And is that two different? Two different, correct? Yeah. So it's got that little different yep. symbol on it mm -hmm. right there. So there you go. Okay. So I was actually thinking about taking that grape. Uh, whatever he's called, but I'm not going to give you a glory to Rome because I wasn't sure about the wisdom of it because there's only one place you can go and you have yep. the other card that yep, does it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and so if I had bought it, then right. you probably would have used yours on your turn and I wouldn't. So yeah. here's the thing, though. Settlements I, are going to be bought, though. I'm assuming settlements yeah. are going out. Right? Uh, yeah. That's, that's kind of where my head was at. So I, I think that's a reasonable assumption. Um, I'm still short on money. I definitely want to play the senior farmer. Yes. What I'm trying to decide, can you hand me a, a farmer, please, is whether I want dollar and two wheat or whether I want two stone. And because I'm probably going to want to build a settlement, I think I'm going to have to take two stone. So let's go right there and take two stone. Oops. There we go. 
So I'm thinking that New Settlement and uh, is quite a tempting card. I do have enough money for it, but the interesting thing is nobody else has the money for it. Um, and there is the supplier, which is also quite tempting, which I don't have the money for, but of course obviously nobody else has the money for. But if I did something to get would get me money, I'll still have the choice of those two cards to pick from, because nobody else has got any money. So I think I want to get some more money. So then the question is, do I drop a settlement, which I can afford to do, but that would only allow me to get one of those two cards? Or do I drop my revenue, which would give card, that will give me five, and that will give me the possibility of getting both of those cards if both of them come round. So I'll do that. There we go. Question. Settlements have to be two spots apart. Is One that, spot. Because these aren't adjacent. Is that... They aren't adjacent. Yeah, yep. they, they totally could. That's fine. Yep. Um, so I have three but cards. Go you, ahead. It, you can't have a worker on when you build a settlement, right? Has to I be think has to be you can. Hold on. Space, um, I think. I think yeah, just, no, you yeah, can. Yeah, can. any worker present on. remains there. Yeah, yeah. you oh, can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it just can't be developed. Or, yeah. Well, no, it, so no, it could have a road, have a road to it. Yep. Sure, yeah. Just yeah. no crocodile. Yeah, right. no crocodile. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not be crocodile free. You don't want to settle in a place with crocodiles. I know it's me. Um. Hmm. Running out of yeah, money. I think I am going to go ahead and throw a settlement down because I need okay. cash, honestly, is sure. what that comes out to. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay my three basic resources for that. There, Grace, I'll figure that out in a minute. I got you. And where do I want to put it? Um, well, I can put it anywhere on the board that I want. Um, no, no crocodiles. Right. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, lots, lots of spots. possibilities. Right. So... Don't make it too easy to connect with those roads, though. No, I'm not going to. Don't worry. Uh, you know, throw it right there. That works. So, three points, three bucks. Okay. And Edward rolls into the lead. Leader in the clubhouse. Mm. Here we go. Well... A lot of people, either everybody that's played it, said they played it, but probably not well, and they've enjoyed it, and a lot of mm. people just have not played I'm it. Gonna be pa I'm going to be patient. I'm tempted by your by your play. I'm going to be patient. Get rid of these powers. Okay. Uh, I will go up here. Take a dollar. Last crocodile's cleared off a more small peninsula. Yep. Normally we start out here, but I thought I would, yeah. you know, yeah. up. May I have a settlement, please? You may. Um, all right, I will place this These are the three resources it's gonna cost yep. by the way um, Let's be somewhat Limiting mm. well that blocks off all but this spot of the wheat that stands yeah. there. So, and as a result, I get three dollars. Like you can't put a settlement anywhere right. other than right, right, there. Right. And yeah. three points, please, for white. Yeah, well, this lasted for a little while. The lead. Okay. Hmm. So now I look at those cards. Oh, I, fancy, I was fancying the supplier and or the new settlement. I think I prefer the supplier out of the two. Um, Edward might take the new settlement, but he's already got a settlement improvement card, and in, and Martin, of course, can afford either of them, so it doesn't make any difference on that. So I think clearly it I wanted that card, but yeah, um, that, oh. I, I didn't I didn't expect it to last as yeah. long as it did. I wanted it too. I that I, I think that's it's a nice card. Oh, well, yeah. I mean that kills me after seeing after purchasing the marketer for five bucks. That hurt. So this is an interesting card, novices. You may you remove... put a glory to Rome up there for that. Gotta say it. Glory to Rome. Okay, yep. <laughs> all right, good, all right. Can remove up to three workers from the board and for each worker removed, score $2. Okay. Mm. Good that source of income. That can be handy not only, well, not only is it a nice source of income, but it's also a way to remove workers from spots you want to place workers on. Indeed. Yep. You were the only one who could buy that out from underneath me, with, and you were the only one who moved before me, who could buy it out yep. from underneath me, and you had to be interested in that particular one compared to the I other. was, yes. Funny that, wasn't <laughs> it? Well, 
Now I will go ahead and play my marketer. So I have to place a worker. Yep. Uh, on a settlement. There's literally only one spot that it can go. Yep. That is there, which now opens up that side of things. It does. I will go ahead and play, pay three quid or whatever it was. I know it wasn't quid. I'm being funny. Sure, sure. Uh, grabbing three resources. Um, Jump in there. I mean, do we take a fish? The fish isn't really useful right now, so I think I'll just go ahead and take a little smorgasbord. Done. All right. My best play, based on what I can see, is to play two roads. All right. So, from a settlement, so, from a building site, spending, or extending. Uh, spending a grape and a wheat. And doing this. So that's three points, plus I connected those two for the first time. Four points. There you go. Go for it. I am purple, right? All right, so I think I can do this, but if it is not legal, let me know. I can place two roads. In fact, you must. In fact, I must. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think those two roads would be the wheat and the stone. Fact. Mm -hmm. And that would get me three points? Uh, four, four points, points you because you connected, connected that. Time. Okay. Yep. yep. So four points for weight. Done. Martin, we did explain the goal of the game, right? Yep. Okay, good. I'm going to ignore it continually and right. uh, spend another four for the new settlement. Yeah, yep. I think so. I think I fancy. I think it's going to combo nicely with the uh, other card. Yep, got them both. Oh, uh, that's way at the top. So now Bazaar becomes available, and what it says is, spend two and take any of the cards in the main display. Hmm. I thought there was more to that. A moment. Uh, There's a different one called Thief. That's probably the one I'm thinking of. 64. Yeah. Uh, pay two bucks. Take one. Uh, if the discount token is on the chosen card, pay only a buck. Oh, nice. So, okay. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, so, I have a buck. I elect to not do that. I could play a couple of roads. Um. And roads must go on crocodile free spaces, right? Okay. I mean, I could do that for. No, I actually I couldn't. It doesn't make sense. Everything's already connected that can be connected right now. So you know what? Let's admin. All right. So I have one card left in my hand. So it's three minus one. So I get two bucks. Okay, then I can remove up to two workers for another two bucks. I'm gonna. Okay, uh, what two workers will it be? Well, I like the idea of taking that one off because now that limits people being able to put that out there. Um, I have a feeling that Ken is just gonna play right there. He, he very well, uh, I, I figure somebody's going to, but just in case not. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and Remove that one as well. So I've done those steps. Top three cards. One, two, three back into my hand. Then I can pay money to uh, take back my other two farmers. I elect not to. Okay. So then remove one card in the market. So if we take a look over at the market, market, we would take the lowest card that has a discount on it. None of them do. Say goodbye to the hermit. And we it's refill. It's hard to say goodbye to the hermit, because he's a hermit. You can't talk to him. Facts. So, so now an expansion. Okay. So that, uh, ironically, cannot be played yet, because no. it goes on to the, uh, I forget what those are called. Workshop. workshop. Thank you, a workshop. So, but when it can, you put Great. those on and... Put them on, get points. We there all are four of five of them, on, by the way. On. Yeah, we put yep. all of them back mm -hmm. on. Yep. And there we go. Done. Okay. So. All right. So those. I wish Edward hadn't taken those off. It would have put you in a much worse spot. So I'm going to place this guy here mm -hmm. and use my stone supplier to take two stones. Okay, done. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only four now. One, two, three, four. 
Yep. Oh, take one back. Yep. And novices. I will take. Yep. Novices. All right. Have and a good one, Mark. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's going to reveal another card, which is the tax collector, but not not for us now. It's going to be yeah, that's going to be a while. Yep. Instead, we see the grape trader, slightly better version of the grape supplier. Place a worker on a settlement, get three grapes. Easy enough. Yep. Well, I'm, uh, I feel like I want to get into the settlement game here, so I shall place a settlement. Yeah, one Just of move them over Oops. there, that way yep. you all have. There you go. Settlement, please. Yep, got you. And where to put it? Uh, what sort of possibilities? Oh! Discount token does not go on the newly drawn card. So which card was that? Uh, it was this one. It was that. So, so technically, it would have been on. Yeah, it goes on before though, the cards right? get drawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would have been on that one. Yep, fair point. So not that. Good. There we go. There you yeah. go. Good. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Christopher. Good point. Yep. Have not played it at two. I played it solo in four, and we also played it at mm. three. Let's pop it on there just the. Okay. It's for kicks, and then I get three, three bucks, and uh, I finally get off, off the mark. You've been hearing about right. some prestige. Um, so I got a nickel. I could go ahead and take that for two bucks. Any card. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a dollar back even. It's very exciting. Is it worth it? Because I'm paying the four, but I don't think so, actually. I don't, don't, no, no, and if not, and can't afford it, so I guess we're playing a card. Um, roads, road, yeah, you know what, yeah. Let's go and build some row ads. Okay. So, uh, first off, we will pay a stone for that, and then, oh, hey, uh, maybe not, because it's stone to stone. That would be, nope, and that's too far away. We will not. Fine. Ah, that was not kind, the placement there. I was happy with it. There were other places that could have been. Just yeah, I know, but it looks like it, if I had two stone, I could do it. He's teasing you. I yeah. guess. Yeah, I know. Um, He's a road tease. <laughs> I got two stone. Has but you already played your road card. I'll trade you two stone for you know what? Let's go and get my farmer out. Doesn't feel great, but there, grab a stone. It's not going to be there available for me next time, but so be it. Done. Play the grape supplier. Yeah, we'll, we'll go down here, get a couple grapes. It will still be around because I think we've played our. Oh, grapes. right. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, fair enough. All right. Uh, I will take off three farmers. Um, and let's go. One. Did this come out? Uh, the, Peanut Gallery is asking after, or no? Are we right? Well, it would have. Uh, yeah, when I I bought this card, I, I can't remember. Which, I can't it. remember which one was the one that came out as a result. I thought it was this one. Uh, That's see. the one that came out new when I bought yeah. this card. And this came out as a result of, of the him administration. Purchasing. It slid over as a yeah. So it should not have the one. Oh, it would have because it would have yeah, yeah. been there and then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, we're good. good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. The initial, yep, yeah. we're good. Yep. One, two, three. That's yeah, six that's bucks. Six bucks. All right. I'm rich. Uh, I will fire in the uh, supplier, pick up a couple of resources. Um, give me a grape and a fish. What the hell? Where will you place your guy? Uh, I'll place my so guy on a settlement. Uh, that one, I think. I don't think it matters hugely, but... Actually, not the fish. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the fish is okay. Okay. I approve. That so, now, work. we will do the two roads, paying two stone. All right. So, we will go... So, it's three points, one... Four points. Four points for yellow. Because connected those yep. for the first time. 
I will play a settlement. Get one of each. Uh, I will take this guy. And what the hey? Thanks, Mark. Play over there. Okay. Uh, it's three and three, right? Yeah. So three. All right, I could buy any of them. I could buy any of them. This one is get three grapes. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, no one else can buy it right now, though. So instead, what I will do is I will do administration. Uh -huh. So I've got zero in my hand, which means the first thing I do is get three. I can take up to two guys back, of which I will do. I will take back this and this for two more bucks. Three um, cards. I get back three cards for free, and then I will buy this one for a dollar. And so I want to buy any more. These are my three pretty farmers on the bottom. Um, Yeah, let's buy one of them. You're right. I should get one more point because I've connected two new things. Is that right? Is that yeah, right? Gain one extra reputation for... No, nah, you also... Okay. Uh, up to two reputation for two separate first connection builds with both roads. Is that not... But they, they're connected to each other. Yeah. Like, when you place this, nothing was connected. When you place that... Right. Yeah, fair yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think if there were if there were a settlement here, and you'd done the same thing, you yes. would get two points. Yeah, agreed. You yeah. are correct. Yep, that's right. Yep. You done? Yep. Okay, new settlement using my new settlement card. That's two non-same what's-it, so they both go back. Right. I get a settlement. Um, like class building a settlement with fish. Oh, I think right. a settlement. Oops, that looks sorry. like four points to me. That looks that looks like a nice. So three for placing, but hey, it's connected. Four points. Five, Five points. points. He connected it to this, and he connected it to that. No, it's only it, it only it's counts as being part a of the single system. a yeah. single connection. Yeah. Okay, and so. three bucks. Ah. I mean. What do you mean? You get one point for each direct connection between the city and anything else it wasn't connected to before. That not anything connected. else. It's for the connection. It's like, being, it's like being part of the network, basically. Yeah. It's here. I'll, I'll, yeah. Re, I'll read it. Yeah. So here we go. Pay two resources, one per road. The resource must match. Da 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 da. If a road finishes the first direct connection of two settlements, yeah. two building sites, or a settlement and a building site. Yep. Gain one extra reputation. So that's the first one between those two, and it's the first one between those two. Up to two extra reputation for two uh, separate first connections built with both roads. But so here's the thing. Like, if you if you followed that logic, then when you connected this, you'd be like, oh, that's three. No, no. direct connections. Direct connections. Direct connections. Oh, I see. One. Yeah. I see. Hmm. But this is the first direct connection between either of those two. I, I think you should get an extra point. Well, yeah. see, it was already connected between those. So These don't count. It's direct connections. And he made this as a new direct connection, and he made this as a new direct connection. It only counts new direct Up connections. Up to two extra reps see, for I two separate. Yeah. It's not clear. Yeah. So. I agree with my counsel. <laughs> uh, curious, right. uh, curious if anybody out there yeah, has, a, has a I, I, am, I am totally uh, curious. Uh, that also works retroactive with settlements going the yes. other yeah. way. Yeah. So that's why, yeah. So, and so I did deliberately put my settlement there because I knew that I'd get at least a point at the right. end of it. Yeah. If, so, if the chat has an authoritative yeah. answer, that would, so, be, that would be great. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, they're, they're called Shat. 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 Mm. So they're a buck. Let's not. Who's turn right. is it? It's mine. Oh, okay. Um... If you lose by a point, you can That's right. give that person an asterisk. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, Last time he did beat me by a point. Mm. He's known to do yeah. that. I will go and play my marketer, spend three bucks, yes, and I'll get three resources. If only there was a card, I, oh. was a card out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? One, two, and we'll go actually... I'm gonna grab three. No, I'm not. 
There we go. There and there. Do you have no cards, Ken? I have no cards, but I, I could you, buy. Do you have any you money? Yeah. Oh, you have four. Yeah, I have four. Okay. So I could buy the bazaar. Just if it were cheaper, I'd do it. That's my. That's my. That's where I was earlier. It's never getting mm. cheaper. Uh, well, no, yeah, it's not. Just trying to get cheaper right now. Oh, well, well, hold that's on. Potential. What are you if doing? someone buys I mean, either of these, it can. Move well, on. this one's going away for sure. Put your cards back. Oh. Uh, oh, right. Yes. Admin. <laughs> so I have zero. Thank you. So my my base is five because I am going to take two away. So three cards and two workers. Yeah. So it's a nickel. Uh, given what's in my hand, it's always going to be workers that are standing on settlements. Well, there's nothing in your hand. What's in my deck? Will be Just being pedantic. Hand. That's fine. Uh, so so five. I take the top three. One, two, three. I definitely want the roads card, so I'll pay one for that. And I think I still need one of these bowers. So I'm, I'm buying two dollars worth of cards. Okay. And then we administrate. So this one is the lowest yes. card. Does go away. Go. Um, and by the way, it, we, it's a point of order here. But like, if this one didn't have a discount marker on it, this one would go away because it's always the lowest one with a discount. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't you just draw that card? No. Oh, that. Was, sorry. Oh, okay, my bad. It's been around for a while. Those now, go first. These go on. Yeah. Those Hold on. Two. By the way, technically, they yeah they're a green that shouldn't have had one on it. But now. But it now will. it will. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Good. And we reveal the Fisher fifty-eight. So it goes here. Okay. So it didn't in fact get it less expensive, but it okay. So you can place uh, a worker next to either the lake or the river. Okay. And I think it must be adjacent to another worker. I will double check. Number Pretty 50. Looks Pretty like sure it. that's right. You yep. can remove crocodiles with the card. And when you place, you get three fish. Place a worker as if it were a farmer. Additionally, yep. the worker must be adjacent to the channel or lake. Gain three fish. And just like a farmer, you can remove crocs. I By the way, someone did say, uh, one of the publishers commented on the BGG thread, Saying you will get two additional points for building in between two existing connected locations. Give them okay. another point. Fine. All right. Thank you. Go. All right. So, Eric, there you go. We know who you clearly are rooting for. All right. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I want to spend six and buy this. All right. So that will reveal the all-rounder which will immediately go to the bottom of the display. On your turn, you can either take the top card from your from your discard. For free. Or one resource of your choice, not or. including roses, or score a point. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, time for me to administrate. So it's, I've got one card left in my hand, so I get two shafts for that. that. This is interesting, this part. Especially then when I can remove pie. a couple of workers for a couple more. So that's that. And there we go, that. And then I draw one, two, three cards into my hand, and I think I will pay... Oh, I've got quite a bit of money there, so maybe the revenue card is going to be less useful for me, but it is good, of course, to have money, because it allows you to buy cards at a good clip. If you're not going to pick it back up, what'd you buy it for? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that I should uh, throw good money after bad. That's true. I mean, it's... Uh, the sunk cost is a fallacy, is a thing. It is true. Uh, I still feel money's kind of oh. handy, so I'm going to so. hold it. And I'm, I'm going to risk it not taking a farmer, because although I feel a little bit exposed with lack of uh, resource production, I'm hoping I'll get that through more cards. Mer, Mer brings up a good point. I guess I'd never really stopped to think about that, but uh, during admin, right? So now we're discarding a card. Yep. Uh, Did you say nope. you no. wrong one? Oh, thank there you. you go. And I'm at. Uh, okay, so now, only put two markers out there. That's why I asked before. You yeah. Said, oh, one okay. goes here. Yeah. One goes here. Here, because it says place a discount token on each card that remains in the current market 
that does oh. not already have a discount token. Ah, uh, okay. As opposed to the market, which is all yeah. eight okay. cards. I so. think, uh, yeah, that's the. I think when we read it, we we meant we thought it meant the total market. Yeah, this is so, the current, and that's the good call. Market. Good call, yeah, Mark. Yep, yep. And then we reveal. This is the reason we play games on stream, so that you can tell us how we've been playing it wrong it all this there. time. Really, that's it. Really. That's pretty much clearly. Okay. All right. Cool. You ready? Right. I think it's your turn, Edward. Uh, that was you, Martin, right? Yep, that was okay. me. I'm all administered and done. Um, Handful of cards. Well, that's gone the wrong direction, hasn't it? It has. Um, I mean, fish. Not terrible. Yeah, I mean, when you Delicious. have enough money to, to get it, you can definitely oh. buy it. Yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> you're the only one that can, right? I guess. Martin, no. can you change some uh, of yours yeah. up? Yep. Um, the problem with fish is, unless you're Martin, what do you do with them? That is a good point. Yeah, that's a fair point. Fish. Because right now, <laughs> we can't what do can you do with fish? My new settlement. settlement. My well, new settlement takes fish. So, you know what? Let's go ahead. That's the last card in my hand, by the way. So we'll go ahead and throw a settlement out Speaking there. Speaking of settlements... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm pretty sure there is nothing here on the island that can be... Right? Am I correct? Sounds right. Okay. Well. Three points. Three bucks. Done. I can't figure out. Look, I've got a reasonably good production system for grapes and stone. I can't figure out whether it's worth taking another turn to get this wheat or not. Just can't decide. Yeah. It's not like us to make mistakes that <laughs> make the game easier. No. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, if y'all are enjoying the stream, give us a thumb, I'll subscribe, do it and regret it. all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, feeding these crocodiles, it's hard work. You need a lot of thumbs to feed the crocodiles, because, you know, crocodiles like your thumbs. It's a well-known fact. So please click the thumb. Give us your thumbs! Migrant farmer, which I would much have preferred, mm -hmm. uh, move one to two spaces and then take one to two of the appropriate resources. Depending on how far you move. Or right? on, on where you moved. On where you moved. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So if you did this, two eat, right? Ah, uh, okay. What number is it? It is 26. And mm. you can take crocodiles in this action as well, by the way. Yep. I do like the migrant. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I also like this one, too. The also pretty good in the same price. And I'm going to buy one of them. So here's the three. And now I need to figure out which of those two do I want. Um, moving twice is nice. But I'm gonna buy this one. All right. So hang three. Yep, I already paid three. Okay. And revealing seventy-six, which so the monument will come out. All right. So place one to three onto a building space, mm -hmm. paying a stone for each. Get two points. Uh, it is important Eight. to note there are five spots, five spots, two spots, and three spots 15. that will come into play. For uh, it has to go into the same building site, by the way. I believe hmm. I will double check that, but uh, like it. there is a card that comes into play for monuments, so there is going to be a reason why you would want to build in one versus another. 72, and you get two prestige per monuments, so and any building bad. sites as uh, explained under sacrifice. So so I would argue that it could actually mix and match. Any building sites, plural. Hmm. Yeah. Um, play, if you place two or three blocks, you can place them on the same or different sites. There you go. Cool. Done. Over to me. Well, I think I fancy that fish. So five and one back. Is it? Oh, it's four. It? Yeah. It's only three. Yeah. Only three. So two back. There you are. Uh, yes, because I think that fisher will work quite nicely with my hand. This is 110. That's going to be hanging out for a while. Yep. It's virtually the last card in the market. So. I suspect something fishy and a freedom in game that might give an advantage to Mr. Fowler. 
<laughs> the card now available is the Plantation. So it lets you place a workshop on a grape yielding space that is developed. So I mean, it has, it has a piece of wood. wood. Yeah. Uh, right. It has to have a road uh, specifically. It to, cause it, yeah, because it can't have a settlement specifically. Right, because, yeah. right. When you build it, you pay a wheat and a uh, stone, and you would get four grapes and three points. Maybe you could have a bridge. Yeah. I don't know. Road, bridge, same in that regard. So I... If bridges ever come up, we can check it in a little. I have no cards left in hand, but I do think I want to buy one. Okay. I that think. Is, that is your prerogative. Um, Bobby Brown. Only three dollars for that bazaar. You've been. Uh, he can do what he wants to do. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> thinking about the migrant farmer. Honestly. Oh, uh, that's a. That's a, It is a nice one. I mean, it's just two resources, but. Now that's stuck in my head. Everybody's talking all this. Like, you know what? No, like, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna actually that. admin. So I have no cards left in hand, so I'm taking a nickel as well because okay. take two workers back. Yes. Um, one, and sure, two. Then uh, top three cards. One, two, three. To pay for it, do I want to take the farmer? I don't, so I'm just taking those three back in hand. And then... Uh, Okay, let's go. And these come only here? Does there this we go. One? Yep. yep. Weingarten, which Number. is 46. So it's a, yep. yeah, it goes right there. It's a slightly less good version of the plantation. But only um, slightly less good. I mean, it gives you yep. one less grape, but one less still, grape, but still otherwise the same. prestige. Yep. It's the vineyard. It's still pretty yep. good. Okay. But all so the all the, all the wine the fields are currently covered with crocodiles. So Just about. That makes it that's what's a it's consequence turn, of us it? going it to this small peninsula. And the game we go migrant farmer. farmer. Well, let's go with the wheat supplier. Look at orange there. I appreciate Franny dropping knowledge mm. on this. Yep. Hmm. All right. I am going to say <laughs> thank you, Ken. Touche. My pleasure. And may I have a, and let's go. You should really think Edward, because down, if I'd had access to wheat with uh, with a farmer, I would have just played down so here. So that gets me a dollar, and it gets me a wheat, wheat, please. Pull the guy out, and then I uh, had to place there so I could get wheat myself. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have got me a dollar, I would have gone here instead, but what you I'm did. I'm going to grab revenue for five. Okay. But you, you actually wouldn't have been able to go there. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't. Have <laughs> um, I am really tempted. I think it's there. Or do I like? Yeah, I think so. So I will. Yeah. Play a marketer. That'll go, sure, we'll go there. Pay three bucks. And grab three resources, so that'll be a... Uh, Love your choice. Two wheat and a stone. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Christopher mentioned uh, in here that apparently Ignacy uh, Trevicek, uh, designer of Robinson Caruso, among others, apparently had said uh, previously that uh, he wrote in a blog post that a while back that he offered a free expansion to every game you own. Go back and read the rules very carefully and figure out what you've been doing wrong all this time. Then go back and play it correctly and enjoy the free expansion. This is the same designer of Robinson Caruso, that rule book. Gives you a lot of opportunities for expansion in Robinson Boy, Crusoe. Does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I played Robinson Crusoe several times this year, and I have yet to beat it. <laughs> have you played it correctly? I think so, but uh, you always make mistakes when you play anything. Yes. Uh, uh, it's the nearest crocodile to be there. There you go. Okay. 
and a dollar. Okay, I will do a senior farmer, please. And I will lay him down, please. Do that. And that gets me two and a dollar. Okay, give me a worker. I'll take a grape and a stone, please. Where should I plop him? I'll plop him here. Thank you. Huh. This is not going how I expected this to have gone, honestly. Um. All right, fine. I'll play two reds. So, uh, that'll be something and four points. So that's a wheat for sure. Mm -hmm. And let's go a grape. Okay. Because grape on that one, right? So four points for yellow, please. Running away with it. Yeah, easy there. Settlement for me. And we'll put it... Uh, hey, Kabuki. Oops, sorry. sorry. Up there. There, exactly there. Uh, and that is three dollars and three points. Well, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think you make me want to do that. Yeah, roads are good, man. So mm -hmm. that's going to be four points, I think, for these two wheats because it's Correct. the first connection, yep. direct connection between those guys. Well, time to go fishing. So I'll give me a worker, I think pop him there, be a good enough spot. Um, and that'll give me three fish. I like fish. I had fish for dinner actually. Mm. A very nice piece of tuna with a nice caper sauce on it. <laughs> straight from the lovely. farmer's market. <laughs> um, so I have one card left, which is a settlement, and I don't have the resources for it. So let's go into admin, shall we? Um, so it's going to be a base of uh, two, four. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. Taking two workers back. Um, this one and the other settlement right there. Yep. Okay. So then we're taking uh, one, two, three, and I'm happy with that. Not paying for any extras. Cool. And discard the last card in the market with the discount, please. Uh, right. Goes on the vineyard. And we are revealing the sacrifice. All right, so put out a single monument. And I, I believe think that's take a card out of the game. I, I believe so. Right. It is a place of building block on any building site. Uh, obviously, if it has to have a spot available, remove one of your cards from the game. And that can be from your discard, your hand, or even that card itself. Um, yeah, there you go. And gain a rep in three bucks. So it thins your deck if mm -hmm. you are so interested. Okay. We use that quite effectively our last game. It's a good card. I think so. Hmm. You can do it a maximum of 15 times. Because 15. Obviously, right. with that out there, considerably less. So. I will play the grape supplier. Grab some crappa. Go here. It feels thematic. I mean, when in grape country, Yep. drink wine. Well, first Dimitri says the farmer dumper. Mm. If you can do that, then I can play the grape trader. Yes, you can. And let's put him here. We grape suppliers look down at the grape traders. They seem they they walk around with their noses in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's time for a new settlement. 
I was two of anything, uh, fish and grapes for this settlement, I think. And so can I can put fishes, it there, can't I? I? You can. Yeah. Oh, because it's not adjacent. It's not adjacent to that. That's and that will be uh, five, five points. Five points again. Number yeah. five. No longer and, away with and three bucks. Um, okay. I'll throw a farmer out there. Let's go ahead and throw that bad boy right... You know what? I'll put it right there. Great. And a buck. No. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's a nickel. I assume this is all making sense to everybody now. You see how quick the turns are. And mm. Well, I'll go ahead and do this while I can do Give it. Give you the four points. Yeah, I'll spend I, I either my choice. Oh, I can't go through the crocodiles. Cannot. So I'll spend the two grapes to go to the building site. Up north. I gave it to, to go where, where? Up there. Yep. Four points. So that takes me to there. <clears throat> we have ten. So, uh, yeah, you know, if spending them, that's the trouble. Mm. I will... I'm in need of money. But I'm also in need of resources. <laughs> Let's do this for take needs three it off. You're seriously, right? Uh, one, two, three for six dollars. Okay. Done. Martin. I will administrate. So I get one because I've got two things in my hand. I think I will clear a couple of... You could uh, clear the entire peninsula. Mm, is that good or bad? It all depends on what you want to do. It is, isn't it? Mm, tempted to. Yeah, what the hell. Just for fun. <laughs> for giggles. So I get an extra two for that. We don't just get giggles. And then draw three cards into my hand. And I will leave the revenue one behind there because I think I'm okay for money. You look so like I don't you're set on money. Be... Well, the only question is, are we going to see one of those cards that really pays you for? I mean, there is one out actually that where you I have to pay fifteen bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 you tricky because it's you can always grab it if you need it though. True. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the card that comes out is refinement, um, and it's a trade card. Trade up one any or two, two. To, for any other two, including roses. Right, and fish. So, yeah. there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I've been waiting on this, so six bucks. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Done. Bridge. 38. All right. So, here we go. Bridges. Place one bridge connecting two crocodile free spaces on opposite sides of the channel. Any workers present remain there. These spaces are now developed. Follow all normal like rules for two roads. Pay two resources of your choice. Gain four points. Same or different resources. If you directly connect a settlement and or a building site with another, gain a rep. Oh, that's nice. So, boop. You gain one rep for that as well. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, there's only one of those, but I could probably figure you, out a way to. There's a potential more. to build a fair few bridges across that channel. Yep. Uh, there are a total of four bridges. FYI. Right, four in okay. total. Yep. So it's not a card. That, well, I mean, it'll probably last me the rest of the game. I think it's probably worth my while to buy it. Okay. Been looking for a point generator. That's it. If you weren't buying it, I was buying it. Yeah. Well, at least I wouldn't get the decision. The pit for forty-eight. It's uh, very similar to the plantation, uh, or the. This is actually similar to the the vineyard. Uh, you place a workshop, spend a uh, wheat and a grape, and then get three points and three stone. Stone. Okay. Hmm. hmm. 
potentially an interesting combo with that animal. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Martin the Younger. Yeah, I'm thinking whether I want the pit. It does combo nice with that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I necessarily want the other one, but it is a way to get stone. Yep, and points. And points at the same time. Yeah, I talked myself into it. Okay, don't build any roads into stone. You Kirk. Harvest hands, 80. So it's out. Oh, no, it actually is. It's There we go. Uh, so place one to three workers as normal, including removing crocodiles. Pay one per worker you place and get one. So it's sort of like your card. Kind Except of. you can get crocodiles. Right. And offset your costs, potentially. So nothing like the, my card. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. All right. Martin the Elder. Ah, supplier. Um, give me a worker, please. Just make resources appear out of thin air. Yep. Right. We're resources. Nice. And I think I'll take a grape and a wheat. Oh. Keep my, no, I don't need more fish. Oh, I just I've got plenty of fish okay. now. Hey, plantation. Now that uh, Ken did my work for me, throw that there. Has to have a road. Do that. Pay hey, a wheat and a stone. Yep. Three points and four grapes. Three points. Yep. You are yellow. Yep. yep. Gonna place a worker um here, we'll say. Get two stone. Uh we will take this card back into my hand. Okay. I'll plop down a new settlement. Which will be a fish and a grape, because I like these fishy grapey settlements. Where to put it is the I think question. That I have it now. Fishy grapey? Well, yeah. I can't put it there or there, so it's going to have to be around here. There's no great little road spots to leap out onto again. But uh, maybe I'll go there. So you don't want to go here? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you suggest it. <laughs> and uh, yes. for that, I gain three rep. One, two, three. And three bucks. One, two, I could do that. Do I want to do that? I think that makes sense. Yeah. What makes no. sense to me? Two roads. Pay a grape mm. and a stone. I would if I were in that position. Uh, it's going to be four points. And let's go there. Okay. Four points for yellow, please. All right, playing a bridge. Spend one of each of the, one of each of these, and we'll put it out there between those two settlements. To get five points. Five. five points, right? And you are what color? Purple and purple. All right. I will take a pit. It's going to cost me these two resources. It's going to get me three stone and three points. And I could place it literally there. Literally the end. Yep. <laughs> that is your option. Yep. Well chosen, sir. I will administrate. I've got three cards in my hand, so I'm not going to get anything for that. Bring three cards back into my to hand. Take two workers off the board. But I do get to take two workers off the board, which I think I might on the settlement spots. This is crazy that this is people. still, this is, I, I've never seen this in any of my games of this. Yeah. We, got, we got those resource production cards out pretty early, and that's kind of uh, made that work. Did we, new cards? Just, oh, yes. Just oh, that. Get rid of that. that. So the sacrifice is out. And then, and then these those. come on. What do we get? Uh, 60. So All right, so here. Mm -hmm. if somebody buys this card, we will start standing up workers instead yep. of normally you lay them down, but because streaming, it's going to be the opposite of that. That's right. Yep. I have to stand on their heads because that's so, what you need to do when uh, you're to, to stand doing them up, the gems. Uh, you pay a buck, and then at any point, or the next time you play it, you, you can do that or... Spend one to five to get three times your money back. There you go, and you get yep. three bucks for every standing up worker. In that case. Do you remove the, the lying down workers? Yes. yes. Yeah, yep. or the standing up yep. workers yes. in this yep. case. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. Okay. Um, me. Mm. Okay. 
None of these are tempting, and I don't have that much money, so I'm just going to administer. Right, it's not your turn, but good to know. Wait, did you really know? <laughs> it's not. Martin just In the game of it. fam, we go clockwise. Fine, go ahead. Thank you. Um, Hurry up, though. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to be there if you don't buy it now. <laughs> yeah. um, so the interesting thing is because I have that, uh, what is it, the plantation, which produces a ton of grapes, I could turn that into any two things. You could. But the fact that it's, all, it's limited to two, uh, I honestly, it, not take, super keen yeah, on it. Two roses, though. Isn't so, it? yeah, but no. So I'll go ahead and do the marketer. So we will go ahead and put that over here in my city. There. That one's yours? Uh, All of these settlements are the Pharaoh settlements. Yeah. 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 You know, well, do that. <laughs> 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 and I'll take three resources. Go ahead. Now you okay. can. Now I'll administrate. I have no cards in hand. I will take uh, these two workers back. Um, so that's a base of five dollars gained. I will get that guy and that guy and that guy for free. Definitely that. Definitely that. I hate that I have to take that one back. Why don't you do this on camera so oh, folks can sorry. see? Yeah, so I've taken three cards back, and now I've got to painfully buy some other cards. That one, that one, yuck, and that one. Um, and I think that'll, that'll do me. I really wish I hadn't bought that farmer last time, but I did. So paying four. Gonna be a while till you administrate again, probably. Maybe All right. ever. Maybe. This is the card I picked back up two turns ago. I think I will play this and pick up. Will you stop that? This. Uh. I don't know. This. And this. Uh, no, I won't pick this one up, but this one. Here you go, here's the three. That gets me six bucks. Done. Dun, 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 dun. I will drop a supplier. Give me a, Please uh, do it over here so we can start expanding. I was thinking of doing it over here, so we can okay, start that, expanding that's over fine. here. That's fine. fine. Um, and I will take, I think, a grape and a stone. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I will go ahead and play my last card, which is Settlement. Okay. Uh, three and three. Three points, please. That's me. All right. Playing a farmer. Oh, and that should have gone away on your turn. Oh. On admin. So Which means this that goes out, and then. Thank you, Brianna. Ninety-six. So the new card that's available is the senior supplier, which is just like Martin's supplier, except even except more so. Better. A little bit better. Okay. Uh, so I played a farmer already. Uh, well, I played the card. I haven't actually played a guy, but I'm going to go on one of those crocodile spaces that gives me wheat and a dollar which seems a little bit better than getting just $2 for the card, which is the other thing I was thinking about doing with that stupid farmer card. Bye-bye. I think I do buy that. One, two, three, four. I think I'm going to buy... Harvest hands. Well, that may not move down, actually. It may not. In fact, it's going to move up. Well, let's say in the same place, I suppose. Yeah. Everything else moves up. Order. Um, I think it's discard. Discard the three cards and get two per two. two. I will take that senior supply. Uh, choose one to three, place them at the bottom of your discard stack. Uh. Bury them. Gain two bucks per card. Don't change the order of the other ones, though. Okay. And I will take that senior supply. For seven big dollars. Which I paid, yes. Okay. I had the money. And that could be kind of handy. 36? Yep, yeah, all the way down. This is the thief, which we mentioned earlier. And this is, you may take any card for from the, from the display for free, 
But when you take it, you then discard it instead of putting it in hand and put and then discard the thief on top of it. Right. So it's the second card down. Yeah. <sighs> now the order no. No, those cards are terribly interesting, so I have no cards left in hand, so that'll be a nickel for me. Um, I will take those two back. So there's my five bucks, three cards. One, two, three. I'll pay a buck for that, and done. That's me. All right. I really... like a way to kill some crocodiles. Should have thought about that more before. Mm-hmm. I mean, if somebody, for when you put on settlements, you could do it there. Uh, true, except I don't have any Bower cards in my hand. I don't have any crocodile cards in my hand. Um... There's only two in your pile, did you? Oh, there's three in my pile. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... So we'll play my grape supplier card. Sure. Uh, and take two grapes. All right. Harvest hands. We'll kill some crocodiles for kids. Um, I'm going to spend all three. And let's go. They've got to be next to existing ones. Mm -hmm. Correct. So let's go. Uh, yeah, that's not as nice as I. I don't want to be quite that nice. Uh, let's go. A grape. Oh, it's got to be un. Uh, Developed, right. so he can't go there. Correct. Yeah. He can go there though. No, he cannot. Yeah, he can. Nope. No, no, well, because he's not. No, next settlement. Could I again let me <laughs> let me interest you if you're killing crocs? Fair that's... enough. Yep, you yeah. convinced me. Let's go uh, grape, wheat, wheat. And you get your money back too. I get my money back too. One, two, three. May I have a grape, a wheat, and wheat, please, King? Mm -hmm. He'll let five. I'll drop a senior supplier down now that I have such a thing. Um, I think I'll plop him there. And I get three, so give me uh, one one of each of the standard ones, not fish. In this case. Play my marketer again, and this will go there. Put me on the do not call list. And two bucks back. That'll be two stone and a wheat. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh shoot! I think I'll my do us. Yep, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. I missed it. I hit the ride. You, you were just so fascinated in the game. Yeah, I, I, y'all have missed stuff. So hold on. Yep. He did that. Martin did those after some hemming and hawing. And then. I did my senior supplier. Right, there you go. And then I placed that one and got that. Sorry about that, y'all. My bad, my bad. Wrong move, but hopefully I won't get punished for it. There this. are a total, after Ken does this, four settlements left. Mm. Mm -hmm. And card 60 should go away when... Oh, you admined. I didn't, no. I played the senior supply. Okay. You... I didn't admin. Didn't? No. Nope. No admins. Yeah, no. No, no okay. admins. Okay. So I'm going to play a settlement. I'll play it here. Oh, it was back for my admin. Jeez, y'all are slacking over here. One what? job. That one's supposed to go away? Yeah. Because that was the lowest card. The market's right. been static for a while. 44, which is going here. Which is just like the pit, yep. but wheat. Yep. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. So I built the settlement. I'm paying one of each. Jeez. I'm getting 
three and three. All right, I'm building a settlement too, paying one of each. Three settlements left after this. All right, this. what color are you, Ken? Uh, purple. Purple. One, yep. two, three, and oops, three for me. One, two, three. Uh, three bucks, and where am I slapping this settlement down? Um, there is, I think, only one legal spot. That looks right. Oh, two. 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 Yeah. Three. Two. Two. One of these two. Let's go with this one. All right, Martin. I'm doing what I should have done last time. I'm going to spend six to buy this uh, monument card. All right. Oh, hold on. And there should be markers on those. Y'all are really dropping the ball on this. What are you talking about, markers on these? Because when I did admin mm -hmm. is the whole reason. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. It's easy to get going fast in this game because terms yeah. are kind of snappy. Admin, yeah. let's slow yeah. down a little. Yeah. Yep. So, trader, turn three things into roses. Mm -hmm. Ah, I thought you got the roses for the perfumer that we Which is, abandoned yeah, a long right. time ago. So it's trade specifically for roses, basically. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, we are two grapes, two roads, That's four points. Four. Done. All right, I'm going to build a bridge. And then there were three. So I assume this does not score an extra point. Fact, because you ain't connecting Jack. Well, I mean, it's connected to this. Yeah, now. but no. Okay, that's my that was my assumption. So, uh, huh? Actually, that's actually, shouldn't it connect? Hmm, that's actually a fair connect, point. It? Yeah, it's at least four points. That's something. So it's at least four, right? Mm -hmm. It says directly connect a right. settlement with another settlement and or building site for the first time. You get a picture. I think that counts because if this is direct by road. I would. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It could be I don't bridge. know. It, yeah. it, it, the, the, the word directly? Hard to know, man. It's an adverb. It's your, All right. We, we, uh, it works like a road in that regard. I would say, yeah, it would. I, I would Ooh, I, yeah, I think give so. Give it to him. Yeah, I think so, because I think, I think yeah. so. Uh, I have... I, I don't think I want to buy any of those, although that... Trader card is a little bit interesting. Turns are snappy. So I'm just going to pick up. Snappy. So uh, mm. first I pick up, I have zero in my hand, so I get one, two, three dollars. Um, we're going to go a little bit slower administration. I can pick up two farmers. Let's pick up one, two for two more dollars. A little bit of a mess there. I'll, uh, I get back the top three cards in my stack. One, two, three. I definitely want to buy this one for one, this one for one, this one for one. That's three, four. Ooh. So I'm spending these four. Do I want to buy the senior farmer anymore? It's the word directly, Shrey, because it's not directly, but. So. Directly. Directly. Yeah. There's no other settlements in the way. Yeah, I'm going to spend one more. It's a link. In your final yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Refill. New card is 112. That's going way up there. So this card says, Tax Collector, play into a workshop and get $1 for every workshop on the board and one dollar for every town on the board. Currently there is zero towns. Because we haven't seen town card. Well, we know where it is. <laughs> there's one of them in there. Oh, that's right. I, it's I think there's two that, different that's cards. Right. There yeah. like, there's another like one as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like yeah. that, yeah. So, so is that it now, currently would be worth two bucks. <laughs> is it me? Okay, playing at Monument. So, one three times, I could spend a stone each for three Monument lots it, and I'll get six points for totaling that. Does it make a difference as to where I plot my monuments? Not yet. I have no idea. So I'm just going to plop them in different places in, in the hope that it makes sense. And then I score six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Plantation. Three 
three points for yellow. Mm -hmm. Three points for yellow. I can't reach it. Three points for <laughs> yellow. Sorry. Thank you. I do have a Sorry. name. Stone supplier. Taking two stone. Uh, where'd you place the worker? I don't know. All right. Details. I think you guys have been doing a little bit of oversight. So I'm going to play two roads. Yep. And I think what I can do is grab a point here and grab a point here. Uh, no, that's already been connected. Oh, yeah. These are not, not directly, directly connected, connected in the rule is the first time two things are directly connected, you get a point. I don't. Yep. It's yep. not it's directly uh, connected. I it's think already, they're it's already uh, part of the same network, though. Yeah, it, even this, these two are part of the same network. But when you plop that down, it created the first direct connection and the first direct connection. There's a connection to this one, not to those. That's no, a direct connection. Direct connection. Yeah, yeah, I guess, actually, actually, yeah I'll, I'll buy that. That's, yeah, right. it's a wheat and a stone. So five points. Um, five points. No, I wouldn't say over overlooked it. Just a yes. difference of opinion on that rule. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to administer. Okay. So I've got tons of cards in my hand, so I won't get any points for that. I will clear a couple of uh, workers, and that one. I'm not really being very clever with my worker choices, but what the hell? And get three cards this. back. Because you can't branch out of the site. Right. You can, pick a, you can pick a different spot, though. Yeah. Using a wheat. Um, can you not branch out of a building site? No, no only, out of settlements. only out of settlements. Yeah, okay. yep. um, one of the ones I did was that. Give me the wheat back. I'm going to use okay. that. And uh, for stone, let's go... Like that. Okay. All right. Now you've got your cards. Reachable. Yep. Replacing a card. It is the other senior farmer. Exciting. Everybody's very excited to know about that. Mm, yeah. Very exciting right. card. Okay. Um. I mean, I could. Or do I admin? Do I want any of those cards? Nah. Well, you know what? Actually, I will pay three bucks. I'll take the farm into my hands. Done. Um, all right. 106. I would like a reading of this card, please. Okay, what number is it? It is 96, the Crocodile Sacrifice. All right, uh, place one worker on a building site. Remove a crocodile from a resource space. Gain three points. Any crocodile from any resource space? Yeah. I will buy that card. Do we have a new card to go with it? Nope. Okay. Stone Trader. Uh, it's similar to cards we've seen before. Place yep. a worker on a settlement. Get three stone. Okay. Yeah, we're shocked by that, Paul. Okay. Place a worker down. Senior Farmer. Uh, okay. Let's go grab a dollar and two wheat. Two wheat coming up. There you are. Done. Martin? Okay, I think we're going to pick that order up for three. Yeah, it's burying the cards. I think I could do with some burying start. considering how much I've got in my That is board. fair. Getting Papyrus, 88. Oh, no, actually it stays on. What number? 88, 88 yeah, I don't know what this symbol means. 88 says, copy the action of a top card on your discard stack. Oh. Copy the action of the top card. Uh, so basically allows you to play something twice in a row. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, I'm a buck short. That sucks. All right. I'll play my new farm, though. And that seems like a good place. That'll be a grape and a stone. Three points and three... Three wheat, three points for yellow, please. Thank you. All right, doing two roads. Build between. I don't know that it really matters. Oh, it totally does. But I'll do that. Okay. So that's four points. For purple. And two stones you already paid. Yep. Okay. All right. I will do. You know what? We're running out of them. I'm going to play a settlement. Mm -hmm. There are this, two left this, after this. And three bucks, because I don't have the stone. Yeah. And let's put that. So three bucks. Oh, I get the three bucks back. And three points. In which case, senior supplier, you, uh, put one down, and I'll take three stone, please. Thank you. Yep. Pay four bucks. Stone trader? Yep. Done. This is stone mason, which actually does come out. It comes out right there. So that's placing a worker on a place with a... Workshop. Right. Mm -hmm. Pay a stone, get five bucks and two points. Yep. Okay. I'm going to play the uh, uh, play the wheat supplier here. Get two wheat. Martin. Yeah. Correct. I'll that do that. Exactly. I'll place the pit, which cost these. May I have a workshop, please? Go How many stone? Three. Here. Yep. Three stone, and three, three points. points. Okay, monument. So I'll spend three stone. Oh, continue to you know, spread around my largesse since I don't know anything better to do and get myself six points. Stone trader. We'll go ahead. I mean, seems thematic. Yep. Uh, three stone. Crocodile sacrifice. Sniper. Three points. Three points. Pew! All right, I will take this card back. Martin? Ah, new settlement, I think, since I can pop one there. Penultimate we'll so. one. There we go. So your usual wheat and grape, and that will... Um, uh, sorry, wheat, uh, wheat and fish instead of wheat and grape. Give me a... I was going to say, you said usual, it threw me off. Exactly. Like, no. Yeah, well, it threw me off as well. Uh, that's that, and I get three points. One, two, three, and three bucks. There is no legal placement of the last settlement currently? Currently. I believe. Currently. So that we'll just correct that there. there. Um, okay. So as soon as that place popped up, I grabbed it, because otherwise Martin would. Well, in that case... It's like a lovely spot for a Oh, my car doesn't have it. Wow, yes, details, details. Huh. Do I discard it for two bucks, or no? I will go ahead and admin, so I have one card left in hand. The base is four, so... I'm not so going to pick it back off. up now. Yep. Mm. So I will take... That one off, and I will take that one off, I think. Yeah, I'm good with that. Um, three cards. One, two, three. One. There. So, four cards back. Okay. That will stay there. And get rid of the card. All right. New card is 34. The Crook. 
place in a settlement, spend a point up to three times to get four dollars every time you spend. Nice. Not not what we call a late game card. No, no, <laughs> not so much. I'm gonna add men. Taking this card here. Um, base is five. I'll take this one away. Thanks, Jess. And this one away. Take three cards. And then, whoop. On okay. camera. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, do I want four? Nope. I'm, yeah. I'll take it. Yep, I'll do it. I mean, who needs cash? Not really. I mean, I already you can't bought, take it with you, right? I already bought too many cards anyway. All right. Hey, gardener, place next to the river. Get a rose. Get a rose. Yeah, okay. This has been a pretty I, rose free game. It has. I'm going to play the pit. It costs a wheat and a grape. Mm -hmm. uh, you put it in the only legal spot. Thank you. <laughs> I get three more stone and three points. It's almost like I've been paying attention where roads are being built. Yeah. I'm going to administer. So I've got tons of cards in my hand. No points for that. Get three cards in. I'll grab my... Uh, yeah, I think I'll... We've generally been fairly largesseful with getting rid of those, so I'll pick up money's always handy. And I'm done. Okay. It's an interesting one. Bank Bank quit. quit. Play to a building site. Spend a fish, a wine, a wheat, and six dollars, and get eight points. Okay. Hmm. Just need fish. Well, if only there were a card for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Or roses. I will. Yep. Yeah. I'm Rose, that like a fish, does not smell as sweet or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so farm. Yep. Paying that. Uh, that will go right there. Three points for yellow. A whole lot of wheat. Done. That's my other nickname, three points for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I now have cards that generate wheat, grapes, and stone for me, right? Grape supplier. So, yeah. Two grapes. Okay. All right. I told you this would happen if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do that for three grapes. Uh, one second, I just want to make sure where to put him. Um, you know what? Let's actually put him here. Yeah. One of these days, you will not have me. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you know what, should I stand this one up? It's funny. I'm so used to doing it here. I do it in my home games that I put them. Like oh yeah. Down. Even when we're not streaming, yeah. everything's ready for the camera for me. It, it's yeah. just it's ingrained now. But yeah. Sometimes when I'm here. Oh. Senior supplier. Um, give me free stone, please. Oh. What would you need that for? Hmm. Oh, I. Cannot imagine, can you? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm playing. Yeah. That'll be a plantation for a stone and a wheat. And that will go. There are two of those left mm -hmm. now, and that will go there. Uh, so that'll be three points yellow. And a whole lot of grapes. And a whole lot of grapes. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the rules teach that all the resources are infinite. Building supplies are piece limited. So here I'm gonna just do that. Play in the stone supplier. We'll go here. Get two stones. Finally, I have a place for all the damn crocodiles. All right. All right. I'm playing harvest hands. Would you? Yes. Three of those. Six points. Uh, six or six dollars. bucks, yeah, right. Three dollars. Three, right, okay, it's All resources, right. my bad. Right. Um, and I will place them one, hmm. two, hmm. funnily enough, Three. all in spots where you can't build a settlement. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, shock the world. Two yeah. dollars yep. back, back. Uh, two wheat and a stone. Coming at you. There you go. Um, 
you know what? Let's not take the stone. Okay. Let's put it uh, here and take an extra wheat and an extra dollar. At this point, I'm convinced you do, you're doing it on purpose. I'm going to spend five bucks and take that banquet card. New card, please. Uh, it goes... A little late for the homestead, which is like a farm or plantation, but or, but, but, or equal to the plantation. But yep. Yeah, a little late in the game for that one. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice wheat, though. Um... Can somebody Titan Tax Collector? They're going to do very well if, if I did. Tax Collector was That was one, one for each workshop, one money for each workshop oh, on the yeah. board. I don't uh, think anyone did. Maybe, maybe, maybe got locked out of the I, game. That I, was a shame I, I for that I one. I that went away. So still no settlements. That's tempting. Um, hmm. a moment while I consider. Uh, yeah, all right. I think that seems good. Two roads for a couple wheat. Okay. Four points Four for points. yellow. He's winning the winner of this game, isn't he? Hmm. Not sure how that's going to look. How it's going to look in the final analysis. I don't either, that's but I'm, neither do I. But I mean, I'm going to observe that point anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Wheat supplier to wheat. All right, I'm going to pick three guys up for six bucks, and the three I'm going to pick up are, I think. One, two, three. I don't know that it matters that much. Martin? Monuments, three stone. Uh, one, finish that one off. One, two, three, finish those two off. I like a bit of completionism in me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three stone. Done. Three stone. Building two roads. Certainly one will be there. Don't see a way. I don't think so. Not for one. So that's yeah. four points purple. So we'll go there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Oh, and I've got to pay a stone for that. All right, I think I am going to add minister. So three dollars, one, two, three. I'm going to pick two guys up. Let's go one, two, uh, no, two. It's for two more bucks. Um, I am also going to take the top three cards back. One, two, three, and I'm going to buy one, two, that's it. Okay. All right, new card. It is the quarry. Again, a little late in the game for that one. Yep. Okay. Just a touch. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to administer one, three cards back into my hand, including a farmer. <laughs> and yeah, I might as well <laughs> grab myself a couple of points. I'm still not sure. So I'm sure there's great. a strategy of, of denying uh, spots for. Uh, workers. I don't think it matters a whole in lot in this, this game. game. This Wheat game, trader. it doesn't seem to be happening. So, again. Wheat. Not exciting. Get it? Wheat. Wheat. Not exciting. Wheat. Okay, done? Yep, I'm done. Uh, still no places for an existing settlement. That is impressive. True word spoken. Mm. I, too, shall. Admin, I have one card left, so it's going to be a total of four. Bucks. That's going to be a nickel. Um, one. Two. All right. Uh, three cards. One, 
to 3. Do I want to pay for any of basically for the top card? I don't know. Damn it. Uh, yes, I do. That's a buck. Done. Okay. And we already got the new uh, new card, right? Building a bridge. What came out? Oh. What, oh. Two roses. Rower. Oh, yeah. double roses. Okay, that's viable. Two, uh, two wheat. Building a bridge. An ultimate bridge. Mm. And that's uh, five, five points. points. There. Those are anything that has one or two left. Building a stone pit. Um, and that's three points. And three stone, and that's your last stone pit. Yeah, I don't have to pick it up though because it's heavy. <laughs> Senior supply, three stone, please. I feel like I've heard this before. Yeah. I'm running this little engine as hard as I can. And let's go ahead and finish it up. It's the last of those. Farm's going there. It's going to be a wheat and a stone, three points yellow. And three wheat. Because God knows I need more wheat. Time to kill some crocodiles. So go oh, it be. Yeah, I, or a sling, right? Yeah, it could be a sling. Building site, uh, removing a crocodile from anywhere. Could be a poisoned thumb. Probably that area. Yeah, not in an area that's going to reveal a settlement off opportunity for, the, for folks, though. So we'll just take that guy off. <laughs> Score three points. <laughs> three for purple. Okay. I need some way to earn points. And right now, the only card that I can buy that earns points is that one. So, dot, dot, dot. I am going to buy it. Okay. Six bucks. New card. It is unlike. The, all the cards that create workshops. Oh. Hey! Finally! Something really usable. Small oh, town. town. Mm. Five points, two bucks. Glory. For... <laughs> <laughs> you would have liked that, would you? You yes. would have bought that one, would you? Yes. Mm. One of each, what's it? Uh, basic resources. I think I'll take that. Damn it! Look at this. <laughs> Look at this! Glory to Rome. One of four. Yeah. Oh, no, it actually comes in. So that is Channel Festival. Spend exactly of... Uh, one to nine resources. Oh, one to nine of any kind. And score one to nine for each of the... town. One, one for each town. Settlement. And, Next yeah, and two, two for each town. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now it'll be points. six for six resources. And it's any mix of them. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. That's tough. It's not to terrible for you. A point per resource. Hmm. Looks like you can catch them at least twice Martin, for twelve points. Almost as good as Martin's. Yeah. Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Now I feel better. Hmm. I know, I feel much better. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Still can't build the settlement. Or the last settlement. Mm-hmm. Oh. That is really unfortunate. Hmm. Well, in that case, I guess we're building some ROADs. So let's see, that'll be uh It's like four. I mean I could do that, right? We could also do that. Either one of those would be four. Yeah. Um Well a direct connection. Could right? also do that. So I also could do that. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um because you really want to spend that weed if you can. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, we'll go up there. Four points for yellow. Okay, sorry. 
Here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, to be done. Admin for me. Right. Yep. So I'm at a base of four because I'm holding one card. There you go. Uh, I'm going to remove two workers from that settlement there, from the settlement up top. One, two, three. On screen. Oh, and then, do I want to take any of these cards back? I will pay one for the wheat supplier, and that will call it good. One, two, three, four, five, six, awesome. seven points, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, Vintner, so place a worker anywhere. Um, there is two of those available, it looks three. like. Three available. So for a great, two points, five bucks. That's not a terrible card for me. Okay. Uh, so that was not Ken's terrible for turn. Anybody. Go ahead, Martin. Yeah, I'm trying to decide which of these two cards to buy. This one costs six, that one costs five. Um, this is spend up to six resources to get six. It's stone. great right now. Yeah. But after you do it once, then it becomes a little less great. Oh, I did not. Thank you, Frank. That's the last card in the deck, by the way. We'll go into mm -hmm. the end game cards as soon as that the next card is bought. I am going to. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. Okay. So paying six? Yep. <sighs> Number 56, the assistant. Place in a workshop. That's exciting. Get three resources of any kind. All right. So now... Yep. Okay. Me? Yes, sir. Supplier. A regular supply this time, so I'll take two, one fish and one wheat, please. Oh. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. No, my I'm sure it wasn't. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, I'm, I, I like to keep you surprised. <laughs> Edward? Yeah. See, now... I mean, I still can't, I can't do anything about the Vintner. I have three cards left in my hand. The roads are the only thing that matter to me now. Because the farm is dead, my plantation is dead because I can't build them anymore. And I have nothing else that is going to gain me points other than the roads. So, you know what? I'll spend four bucks for the copy card. Okay. Mm. No copy card. Oh. Virus. Thank you. 114. Mummy. All right, so what do we got? Juggler. Do, 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 do. Yep, place on a town, and then you get three dollars per town. Mm. Yeah, which right now not is a, not a great card right now. <laughs> uh, <it's> so much. <laughs> <laughs> is that per town? Is it? Yeah, yeah, per town. Okay. Yeah. Could Currently, be nice if there were a lot of towns. Zero. Yeah. Uh, play the wheat supplier. Get two wheat. Yeah, let's play the Grape Trader. I know I played it out of turn. Sorry, Ken. Um, That's okay. Three grapes. Martin? Monument. Ugh, whoops. Just Oof. put those wherever you want. That's fine. <laughs> and, uh, uh, one. I might as well just fill it up. So that's, that one's full at five, and I've got. So I can be able to be able to do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Assuming nobody that's it. else does. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll copy the roads. So I guess we're buying, paying two stone because mm -hmm. that's all that makes sense, right? Yeah. Looks like so. Four points. Four points yellow. Oh, oh hey, that's me this yet. time. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, so I'll go ahead and play my bridge. And the last bridge. Last bridge. I don't think there's a place I can play it where I get an extra point, but somebody correct me if I'm wrong. No. Like, if that that's not workable, right? That's not going to give me an extra point because it's not adding a connection. So... 
I'm so confused by that at this point that yeah. I don't think so. Agreed. I, I, let's, I, let's just put put it down anywhere legal, and we'll call it good. Yeah. Is, it, is that branching if you do that, though? Ah, uh, fair point. It is. So no. What is it though? Yeah, because it's you can't. It's like a road. It's already got. Yeah, it's essentially a road. So it's branching here and branching there. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, okay. But is it, so th they are roads. I think they have to follow the road. Yeah, if we're giving you the point for connecting on the roads, yeah, then, then yeah. effectively, yes. The roads that, that go sense. across so rivers. That that's, that's, that's legit. Yep, that's that would be legit. Okay. Yep, that, oh, that would be four that points. Would be, that would be legit, too. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so right. four points for four purple. Points. Okay, sorry. All right. Um, I think I am going to play Harvest Hands. I am going to pay the three, but I'm going to get the three back because I'm going to be replacing crocodile type stuff. Okay. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Yes, you are doing it on purpose at this point. Mm. Well, obviously. Yes, clearly. It's, you don't want to give somebody else so the that's opportunity the three bucks to uh, No, I meant standing the workers up. Oh, that. <laughs> three grapes, please. Right. Three grapes. And money-wise, you're a wash. A wash, yeah, because okay. I picked up three crocodiles. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play the banquet, which is six bucks, a grape, a wheat, and a fish, and I score eight points for that. Fifty-one. And I happily move on to the fifties. Yay! Uh. Can't afford that. That would be at four. Yeah, I will. I have three cards left in my hand, which can't place the settlement, and that's the. Uh, and I can't. Here, I'll just do it this way. So, I could do this, but I don't need to. So, I'll go ahead and add me. So, I'm just getting a straight up two bucks for taking workers back. Okay. Um, so, I'll take. I guess one, two. Um, take three cards back into my hand. Get rid of that. Mm, you are one, two, three. For a fish. Hold on. Don't flip it yet. I want to look. I am gonna actually pay a buck to take the marketer back because that allows me to get fish. Okay. And done. Uh, this is our first uh, disaster. Okay. It's the 10-pointer. It all it, It's going to go at the end. Yep. Automatically. Yeah. Sunstorms. Yeah. Offers Mason's Work, which allows one to build up to f five times. Although so 15 bucks. But actually only up to three times, because there's only uh, three opportunities to build left on the board. Yep. Oh, fair. So three. So, really so up, to five, five up to five points. <laughs> okay. It for nine bucks. Not as good as it might have been. Right. Yeah. Time. Okay. Um, and you need lots of different resources as well. So you need fish and roses to get the full amount so as I'm well. I'm gonna build two roads. <sighs> I think I can do it like this, right, and still yep. get the extra point. Yep. Four. Yep. All right. So could could be two grapes. Could be two grapes, or could be a grape and a stone. Correct. So okay. it's gonna be a grape. Definitely gonna be one grape. Uh, yeah, no. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna do that. Uh, guy goes on. Yep, yeah, that one works. Um, so that cost me a stone, and it gets me two points and five bucks. Martin the Elder. I will administer. I'll take um, tons of cards in my hand. I will ditch a couple of things. Of settlements. A couple of bucks. And I'll take one, two, three, and definitely the fourth for a buck. And twenty more, but no, I think it'll be fine. And I believe this is the highest card other than the disasters. It's Palace that came out. It's a nice one. If there are towns. If there are towns, it's a nice one. Alright, what do we got? Harvest Festival. Uh yep. So uh Good for somebody with lots play, of resources. Hey, a resource of your choice. Resources. Yep. And yep. for all up to ten times, 
and score either one point for settlements or two points for towns, all connected. So you could absolutely score ten points with that card and ten resources. Okay, good to know. Uh, oh, it's me. Hmm. Looks like you can't buy it, though. I cannot. Not yet. Yet. Not trying to echo. Um... <laughs> I guess we will build some row ads in the meantime. Yep. Will I? Okay, hold on. Whoop. Yeah, I'll grab. Uh, or oh wait. Yeah, you can't build to that one. I can't. I can't build to that because I. You could spend three bucks. bucks. Nah, I'll let y'all take a chance to do it, and instead I'll play that. Yeah, we'll do it next time, right? There. Three stop. Done. I'm going to kill me a crocodile. Uh, and I'll take, take this guy. Pew! Alright. And three points. I am going to take back three guys. Oh, roads can build branch and build sites. One. Okay, cool. Uh, two, three. Martin, uh, plump for revenue. You take five bucks. Four points yellow. Done. Administering. Yeah, we're going there. Natural disaster. All right, so now Pharaoh card came out. And Pharaoh at 112. He is... wants to go into town, and we don't have any towns. Right. Yeah, 112, right? Sorry. I also got to do my administration stuff. Uh, yeah, for the town of Pharaoh, each settlement town and building site directly connected to the Pharaoh's town by roads and bridges. Um, Massive score. Yeah, gain two per town, one per settlement that is not a town, and one per each building block on the building sites. But obviously, notice you must be able to place on a town. Yeah, which now that that card's out there, no one's inclined to build the town. Well, only one person has a town card. So, are you done? Uh, I haven't even started oh, my own admin. Yeah, so do your admin now. Uh, so I've got a base of four. Yep. Move two workers. We'll take... Uh, I think I am going to take one off the building site this time, because, you know, Crocodile's got to play on those building sites. Uh, one, two, three... Oh, I hate having to take that bridge card back. That stinks. Yep. On camera. And now... Do I want to take these cards to give me resources? I think I probably do. So that, I'm going to pay three for them. All right. The Channel Festival. Seven yes. points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for seven resources. 42. Pretty solid deal. I think I must have given you Yep. Mm hmm. Badly, but I'm going to administer. Take three cards back, clear a couple of things off, and two bucks. I have now got nothing in my discard deck. Towns are out. It's weird. Six points and two bucks for three. Because six there. points. Mm. Heat. That is the penultimate disaster. Once the fourth one comes out, no more admin for anybody. Mm 
Well, I do not know if I'll ever get to use this card, <laughs> but it's too juicy to pass up. Which one? All right. If this next card that comes out is a disaster, he gets four Fs with his glory to <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is a disaster. Oh, nope. No, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. <laughs> because place on a building site and place uh, spend, spend up to $24, $24 right, yep. to buy points. Yep. Okay. All right. What I really want to do is play this card, but given that there's three disasters out there, what I have to do is administer. Um, yep. So I'm going to pick up two guys to get $4. The two gentlemen I will. How many cards are left? Pick up our. Okay. This one and this one. Five. Okay, so 20% chance. 20% right chance. Escort. And I get three cards one, two, three. And I think I should buy one, oh, wait. two, three, four. I don't know whether I should just buy them all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, the farmers seem useless, but I might need the resources, especially if someone else causes it to end in my turn. So I'm going to buy them all. Okay. So the escort says you uh, you can move a uh, worker worker on a settlement, a settlement up to three settlements away, and if they do, score six points. And spend six and dollars. And spend six, six dollars. So, so yeah, yeah, two, four, six. It's the card that came out very early in the game I, we played last Saturday. Yep. And was used to great effect by Derek. I think I'm going to grab it for three point, three, three bucks. 25% chance. Nope. Anybody want a baker? Probably not. Okay. It's worth buying something just to... Do I add men is the question. Because I have the two main cards that I need right now. But I might as well add men. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, I'm trying to rush the end of the game. Well, because right. this. Sure. And I'm looking at another 15 points, potentially, at least 12. So... Yeah, I think I will. So, um, I have a ton of cards in my hand. I'm not going to take the workers back because two bucks isn't going to do me anything, really. So, then one, two, three. I'm not going to need those, so I'm not well, you don't buying have money, anything. So. Right, yeah, fair point. There you go. Grand Bridge. Okay, which there are two Grand Bridges. But it doesn't matter. Okay. So no one's doing admin uh, for the rest of the game. Quite there. Oh, sorry. I thought this was a. Yeah. No, it's not a bridge. Is not a oh, disaster. disaster. Yeah. It's right there then. Ah. Yep. And then you guys said there we go. I was faked up. Uh. Put a bridge. Five bucks. Basic resources. Twelve points. Yep. Speaking of basic resources. Being cash poor right now. Grape supplier. It's the card you always want to be playing at this point in the game. Totally. Get two grapes. Yeah, with the palace card out there, though, I don't want to build, play the towns yet. So, if ever. I want to make somebody burn their money, though, which nobody can afford it, actually. Uh, only Martin the Younger can. But the Grand Bridge, at least. So, there's, there is one Grand Bridge piece? Two. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. And that would cost... One, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, no, it's a very good deal. Yeah, it's a good deal. New card, 50% chance. There it That's is. That's it. No more admin. Good. So, at any point, you can you skip pass. your. You you can just pass, and you're out of the game. Yep. Okay. Now, the discard a card for two bucks. Is that something you do in addition to your go, or no, instead of a go? That's instead of your go. go. Yeah. In which case, I might as well play my revenue and get five bucks. Discard that for two bucks. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wheat supplier. I'm gonna buy this for two bucks. Last card. It's a 92. Five roads. Five roads, which is still something you could do. You could. It's a point per road. I'm going to pay seven bucks for the obvious card. I'll take the palace. Since I can build a town. Yeah, it doesn't it, matter. Anything that. happens. Mm. Oh, I need resources. That might be the tricky part. Play that for a three stone. Ah, uh, you know what? Nope, not yet. I did that wrong. Wrong order. Farm for two bucks. That's it. Done. Ten. Oh, you're just, you're just getting money. Just to get money. All right, that's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna bridge for two dollars. So you get an extra buck apparently per the peanut gallery. It was oh. a di that seven should have been discounted, but you're fine. So okay. there you go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna play that. So place a worker there. Spend a spend a stone to get two points, and more importantly, five bucks. I think it's time to put a fisherman out. Apparently not. Oh, okay, whatever, I don't mind. Give me three fish, please. Alright, five roads. Martin thinks he's playing Goose Fjord over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay, what'd you do? Oh, five you bought roads. five roads. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I would have bought it if you didn't. That's points, I guess, right? Yeah. What else are you saving Let's your money for? Let's do stone supplier, two stone. And put said worker out on the settlement. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, it might matter. So this says place a worker. Do a building site. Do a building site. Mm -hmm. Then spend one to ten resources and get one to ten points plus place plus one point for every uh, stone on the building site. So if you were to place here, oh. you'd get fifteen points. You can't place there though; that one's full, right? But this is the only one. Well, you're not placing the stone; you're placing the worker. Oh, so as long as there's not oh, a worker. I should have bought that one. Damn it. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. I'm gonna buy it. Yep, for three. three. Yeah, I don't think there's a chance I can hold you guys off at this point. Mm -hmm. Here's my regular supplier. Um, plop him here, here. And I'll take a stone, actually two stones might as well. Make it simple. Freestone, done. And I am running out of stuff that I can conceivably do. Is there anywhere to build two roads where I can actually score the no. additional points? Not that I have seen. Okay. But I could always get just three. Yeah, uh, I mean, build two roads to nowhere, yeah. right? I mean. Uh, so we'll go there and there. Stone and stone or stone yeah. and grape? Stone yeah. and grape. Yeah. Okay. We will. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Um, so what I probably would like to do then is let's do a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> For a grape, please. Come right up. He stood it up. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, so I'll do a senior supplier, and I'll take one of each of the basic resources, please. Uh, how did this guy get here? Might have was knocked. I probably got bumped. Okay, we'll Actually, I'll that. swap that stone for a grape. All right, with the five roads, with the way things are, just save me some time. Like, yep. connecting this doesn't do anything, does it? I don't think so, because they're already connected. But there's no connection between them. Like, yeah, I, I, I again, I, I thought I understood that rule, but apparently It's the not. first direct connection. What, what were you asking to connect? From here to there. Yeah, it would get you the extra point, because it's the first direct connection between those two spots. Okay. Well, in that case, I could have built road. I could have built yeah. roads there. Uh, no, first direct connection. That's not the first. These two are oh, already connected. they're already connected. Right. right. Okay. I sort of see it. Right, there's a number of spots that can be done, like here, here, here. Yeah. Yep. Here. So yeah. Okay. I could. You could definitely get one extra point. I'm not sure you could. Oh, you could get this one too. Well, yeah. What? what? Move your hand. I can't see. Those two, and those three would get you. Five plus two. One, two, three. No, because this road's already here. Oh. So you're connecting this and this. Oh, okay. And then those. So here, I'll just play two roads for two grapes. And that's... Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, I think play the five. because Yeah, it's never mind. Right? Yeah, well, and there's only five left. Yeah. So there we go. So I paid... And then three stone. Yeah, which I can do right there. So that that's is... Seven for yellow. One. Nine, well, seven. hold on. Two... Yeah, okay, three, and then, you're right, Yeah. seven points all day, because it's so, so five. It's 16, more. There we go. Done. One of the roads are empty. Okay. And the resources for those you already paid? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Crocodile Sacrifice, so I'm going to play in the building site that scores the most points, and take a crocodile off there, Boo! and score three points, three big points. That was more Pardon. exciting the first time I did it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play okay. Harvest Hands. Okay. All right. And let's... I'm going to pay the three, but I'm going to get the three back. Um, one, two, three. That just gives me three grapes. I'm going to make you lay them down, though. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Three grapes, please. Three grapes. Martin? Oh. Don't let me change my plans. Does it? Uh, oh, there it is. So I need two of those. Sorry about this. Suddenly I've had to recalculate. Um, hey, Daryl. Thanks. Don't think it does. Useless fish. And useless fish. Yep, no, it doesn't look, it doesn't look calculated. Okay, so I'll pop down a farmer. I'll farm me a bit of stone, please. There you are. Sadly, can't make use of the settlement, so Ken gets to. Uh, gonna play the t uh, town. It's okay. gonna be uh, two bucks and six, so that's that. There, 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 and we'll go ahead and put that right there. Yeah, it's a jerky play. Yeah, I know. But I guess I'll six take points, it. yellow. Uh, I guess I will take what I can get. Yep. Which uh, is a settlement. Say there. That work for you? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Three points, purple. Three points, three. Yeah, three I was three dollars. This was a bad play by me because I could have waited till maybe when you guys ran out of cards. Not Edward, but me. Yeah. I agree. Uh, did, did I get three? Yes, points? I gave okay. it to you. Thank you. All right. Yep. So I am going to place another farmer for a dollar and a grape. Okay. Can I get a grape, please? Oh, fine. Thank you. 
until I put it. Okay. So I'm thinking that card now only costs two, correct? I guess technically yes. it will have dropped down, yes. I'll take it then. So I'm going to victory point for two money. Papyrus! There, there, there. We'll go ahead and play that right there. Nice. Uh, that'll be six points for yellow and two bucks. Done. And now I have to pass, so I'll just take ten points. If you didn't, I was. I should yep. do. All right, farmer, dollar, and then can I get a wheat, please? Martin? Ah, might as well get the palace out then. So two wheats, two stones, two grapes. Plop a palace on one of those towns, and I get 20 points for that. Oh, so up to 20 points. Uh, sorry, 15. Oh, 15, so, so up to 16. 15. Right. Sorry. And uh, this is what I got left. And there's no roads and no settlements left, so we're done. Six points for yellow. And Ken already passed. Yep. All right, I'm going to pick up some guys. One. Yep. Uh, where are the yellow workshop? I'll get this free already. One. Two. Three. That's we can heckle. Dollars. Yep. We can mm -hmm. heckle that way in person. Mm. So if y'all y'all give us good stuff to tell the other two that are playing still, we can we can totally pass that along. I'll pop a farmer down here and take a wheat. All right. Okay. I think I do this grand bridge. Bridge. Okay. And that's one of each resource and five dollars. One of each research and five dollars for twelve for twelve points. Two six. Okay. So there's no settlements left, so I can happily discard a settlement card for two bucks. Okay, I think I picked that Grand Bridge back up. Yes, that seems like a good idea. And we'll discard the new settlement card for two more bucks. All right, I think I build another grand bridge. Um, Where did you build the first one? I don't know. I don't think I got you, put down. You, you did not. Um, is, it just says across the river, so it doesn't really matter. Sure. Um, so another one of each and five more bucks. Uh, you have to be able to what build you, it. Why don't you read it? Make sure it's, it doesn't... Yeah, yeah it, it doesn't... It, on the picture, it just... Yeah, hold on. It's, it's it probably, follows the road probably rules. Anywhere, I think he's probably. Uh, I think he could probably do it. Grand Bridge, follow the bridge. So thirty-eight. I think he could do it here and. Two crocodile here. free spaces on opposite sides yeah, of the chill. So any, as long as oh, crocodile. Oh, anyway. Okay. okay. Like Doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Um, so All another right. twelve points. Nice. Coming out of nowhere. No, I. That's how it's supposed to work. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, banquet. A fish, a wheat, and a grape, yeah. and exactly six bucks, and that's eight points. Okay, a uh, worker and a wheat. A worker, please. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and that's going to get me two points and five dollars. Martin's going to get me by five points, looks like. Discard for two. Which Martin? Okay, oh, yeah. uh, the question is whether they're both going to catch you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know this one's going to. Yeah. I hope so. I'm not sure. This card, I think, seems useless to me because there's no more roads, right? There are not. There. You can spend it for two bucks. Oh, that's right. I could spend it for two bucks. But it's also three points sitting out there for the first one to pass between the two of you. Um, I've got other points here. I have no doubt. I'm just saying. So, so yeah, I'm going to discard this for two dollars. Discard for two. Younger. 
I am going to settlements also useless too because there's none of those left, right? Yep. Two more rocks. Hmm. I don't think it would have mattered because if I got in the four point the four the ten before you, which is yeah. what I was shooting to do, I think I'm still short. If you had been friendly enough to leave me a town to play the pharaoh in, that's a lot of points for me. I know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. That's the card I feared. That's yeah. why I had to discard the small yeah, town. Never even right. played it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to place a worker in the settlement for three grapes. How many cards have you guys have on that? Uh, I think we've got four each. Oh. I've got, uh, now this is the card I barely understand, the escort. All right, take... Uh, Six bucks I've got. So is lo here, you can do this. One, two, three, and it's not, it's empty at a destination, yep. you're good. Empty it comes off. It. Six points. Six, six points. Bucks. Yep. There that was go. it. There you go. Done. Easy. Yeah. All right. I think I play the four mummy. More, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and I are oh, third and four. Yeah. Nope, that's going to be a problem. So I think I have to play nope. the senior farmer first. Because I'm going to need wheat. Two wheat. That's actually not a legal place, but there is a there is a legal place, so it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll put a farmer okay. onto a stone spot, please, and a stone. Younger? Again, not technically legal. All right, a place, wheat but. and a grape. There we go. It's gonna get me three stone and three points. Okay. Wait, where? In that uh, goes... no. No. Oh, there's no none of those nope. left. Um, stone back. Stone back. Give me a wheat and a grape back. Give me a wheat and a grape back. Would you like two dollars instead? Um, one second. Nope. Uh, let me think. I'm not going to get resources from this, so instead I think I play the mummy. Okay. So this is place a guy here. Yep. It's get pay up to ten resources. To get 15. To get 15 points. Because mm -hmm. there are five building blocks there. Yep. So yep. the 10 resources are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go. All great. All great. Wow. Mm. Okay, Gordon. I only got the monument. I can only do it twice. Why? Because I only got two stone. Oh, that's. So Check that gives out. me four so points. Four points there. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm dead level with Edward. Okay, I think I play the fast thing, mm -hmm. which is one, two, three, four, four points. Well, no, and you spend six dollars to get the other, the other. Oh, it's spend three dollars to get one more, right? If you can spend three dollars once to replace yep. a resource. Yeah. So that's five points. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a point per. Resource. Oh, point per stuff on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you eight. sure? Yeah. Read it again. Let me see the card. Channel fast. It's up to. Okay. Here, up. Here's what I'm talking yeah. about. The fact that there's towns oh, okay. next to the river. Two. So slow down. Four. Five, five things. Five, right? six, seven. Seven points. Yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. How'd you guys build those towns next to the river? Yeah. <laughs> and by you guys, you mean me. <laughs> I forgot about that card. Well, well I'm passed it out. Thankfully, you might not have been able to not do it without three So I get three points. Without building a. Uh, One, two, three. In a space right. I can use the Pharaoh. Yeah. It's I'm going to take probably better, two dollars. All right, there you go. And that's it. There Martin it is. the Younger at 95. Martin the Elder at 87. Pretty good 84. teacher, 84, and Ken, thank you for playing. Someone said I forgot to roll back three points. But... Oh, okay. All right, so thoughts on fam. Second play for me. Um, I liked it a lot better this time than the first time, um, even though I didn't score as well. I think a uh, lot of room for defensive play in this. Um, pretty thinky. 
definitely some strategies that I hadn't thought about until mid game. Um, the, the Martin's move to like buy a card really basically just to have an extra action there at the end, I thought was pretty clever. Yeah, mm. that um, was very good. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot to like. I th it's it's funny how like the game promises a lot of stories, like because yeah. there's all these different kinds of and the, you know like. Those just didn't happen in this particular. Yeah, game. yeah right. right? Oh, oh, hold on. Neither did those. Right. <laughs> but that's fine. I mean, the first game I played, all of those got played. Right. And roses were part Probably. of the game from, right. from, from yeah. fairly early on. We so, even only had one fishmonger too. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Mm. And fish are one of those resources that, like, it's not immediately obviously what to do. Obvious what to do with them, but you can definitely make them work for you if you have the right set of cards. Right. So, yeah. I, I think it's. I think it's. 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 I've, I've, I've had fun with it. I think his fish were efficient because he was placing down a worker and getting three resources for it, mm -hmm. for that one card play. And later in the game, when resources can be a point apiece, yep. that's better than like farmer or senior farmer. For or, sure. Uh, well, but it, it really helped him because he had the card that let him play any two resources to play a settlement. Yep. It would have been much more re useful for him in the early game than it would have been for the other three of us. Right. Which is why we buy it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. What I figured out the last game we played is I really got screwed over by Shrey when he administered, and in a three-player game, two cards come out. Yeah. And they were or two go disasters. away, yeah. right? And yeah. there were two disasters out, and I thought I had time, and the two cards that came out were both disasters, and then I couldn't administer, and I got stuck very short-handed. This time, I was very much paying attention to the yeah. trigger. Mm -hmm. And purposely, like all those extra cards I took back for a dollar each were definitely worth it because they ended yeah. up being a point back. And so there's a certain. Oh, yeah, it, 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 that won you the game by yeah. yes. admitting when you did. Had you not, then mm -hmm. potentially you're, you're a well, distant. 30, fourth. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, getting a B, it's interesting because obviously the game encourages you for most of the game for keeping your hand. Lean, lean yes, so that you can right, uh, right, yep. get extra money. But uh, towards the end of the game, you really want your hand absolutely full. I mean, my, I had no cards in my discard pile at the point at the end of the game because I just pulled everything back to try and get every, every point I could. I, I, I'm liking this the more I play it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I, I mean the card market is is just works so beautifully because yeah. it it causes a completely different game every time you play it because the cards come out in a different order. Completely and, different. And, I mean, this is nothing like the last time that I, certainly that we played, let alone that I remember as well. Um, <laughs> and it's... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, defending himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I, it, and I, I, I like that. I like the fact that we've got this shared... Yeah. Thing that we're building up that, do that affects how the cards vary in value, and of course, every time you play, the cards have very, very different values, and you're yeah. trying to create these little combos, and then say, okay, how can I then create more combo little combos? Yeah. And I, I, I think it really does work very nicely. The way it twists deck building is pretty cool because you're not often picking all your deck back up, right. and I think it sort of like lulls you into thinking it's a game about action efficiency because it's got the Concordia esque play, right. But it's really more about like having synergies in your deck and building a right yes. deck. This card is great because it has synergy with anything. Pick yeah. the top card from your um, recycle back up. Right. right. And at the end, it allowed me to use the 12-point bridge twice. twice. In the, mm, yeah. That was... Whatever, whatever your best card is, use it twice. Yeah. This, that was huge. One thing about this game that's a potential issue, and I haven't had it be an issue yet, but there is a luck element. Like, when Ken was buying that card, had he flipped over that last disaster, my final score would have been like Oh, 36. yeah. Oh, no, no. no. Sure. There, yeah. I mean, and the way, I don't, yes, it's luck, but it's, yeah. it's that random element that you need so you mm. can't be like, oh, there's mm -hmm. three cards left. I have three whatever. Mm. And, yeah. and that, that, kind of, that kind of chance you can manage, too, though. Right? Yeah. See, for me, I don't like it nearly as much as y'all do. Mm -hmm. I feel like it overstays a little, and it becomes a little... Like, did you have fun the last 15 minutes? Uh, you mean sitting what, after I passed? Yeah, well, I mean, like, and it's... You yeah, don't have to... coffee, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, 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 no. And it, it's less about that. But for me, it's... I like games that you get an engine going. Yeah. You run it just enough, and Ooh, then the game over. ends. This feels like that engine runs a little long. Like, I was, like, three points yellow, three... It just felt a little rep. It didn't feel as emergent 
for me. Yeah. Um, and it could be the, the strategies that I've chosen to employ in this game. Just that's the way it feels. It just felt a little, okay, second verse, same as the first, in a lot of ways yeah. once you get that. And it just, the engine just keeps running. And I'm like, okay, enough. I think what you're really trying to do is, like, make sure you don't fall too far behind and have enough of a resource and money engine that you're ready for the big scorers when they right. come. Right, at the end, mm -hmm. right. Um, but, it's a huge ramp up. It's just, yeah. eh, it just, it felt a little long to get there for yeah. me. That's all. Yeah, I, I felt that one of the things is that the any of the engines only runs a certain amount. I mean, I, at one point in the game, I was doing that thing with settlements where I could grab the resources with the, um, the, the supplier and then plop a settlement uh, using the, the, the cheap settlement thing. Right. And I was thinking, oh, this is great. I can keep doing this repeatedly for three points and three bucks and everybody else is playing settlements. I'm going to run a settlement. I've got to find a new engine oh, to oh, replace. And, and, I, was and doing, I really like that. I was doing yeah. that with, the, with the, the wine one and the farm one, right? Totally. And trying, but it just, it's just, over it's just too much of that for my yeah. liking that's yeah. all yeah i guess for me i'm kind of you've you've you, you, when you're running an engine you've always got to be looking for the next engine yeah which is going to carry you the next little hurdle um i would agree that it that it does overstay a little bit yeah but i enjoy it don't get me wrong yeah. just i don't i don't bit much. i don't think that i'm i'm not bored really but i do think i do i feel like pr there's probably like one or two extra loops that's, that I, that, that, right. that, that, yeah. that's kind of what I'm getting at, right? Yeah. It's those loops that the I'm early, like... The early game loops. Or where, mm, early, mid, wh wherever mm. you want to call them, You're there's just too to, many of them. Trying to max to get like three points exactly. three dollars. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. and, and again, you look at the scores, I get it. Sure. Just, yeah. eh, you yeah. know, so... This one thing that made me buy this game, and it's it takes the Concordia action and tweaks it just yeah. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like that mechanism, right? It, it tweaks matching the, matching the power very... grid market, mm. yeah, basically, right? Yeah, without the auction, but in yeah. Concordia you get to pick up all your cards. And this one, you've the order you play them matters because you've got to pay to take some yeah. back. And uh, I think you were pointing out, Martin, when we played last Sunday that that changes the thought process quite mm -hmm. a bit. Not only on, do I pay for this one, do I not, and what order do I play the cards in? And there were quite a few times where I'm thinking, like, I want to. sometimes I want to play this right now because I don't want someone else to take the space, and other times I want to build up resources so I have more of them, so when I play it, I maximize the point gain. But the order of where it ends up in my deck also affects the order of I play. And I, I, I like that aspect yeah. of it. I totally do. And... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. And, and I think the, the game also grows as you get to know the cards a little bit mm -hmm. and get some feelings of some of the things that you can do that you didn't realize the first time around. You said, you know, I, I, this is the fourth time I played it. The first two times were a year ago, so I've forgotten everything. It's kind of like the second time I played it. And realizing that, oh, you do actually want to increase your hand size, not decrease your hand size, mm -hmm. once you've got past that early bit, perhaps, when you, you're more concerned about the money. Or if you've got another good money source, then you just yeah. want to pile a hand card cards into it. Every card in the game is played, every every game, right? So you can yeah. guarantee. Now, it, there is potential that you, the cards you you maybe are, as you learn these cards, you are working towards those that come out till later. At least the four that you know get buried into the final 12, um, you know what those are, but yep. it still could be 50 cards down or 40 some yeah. cards down. Um, and all the cards are even, <laughs> which means... There's an expansion available, right? Because all the odd cards, then, in that case, <laughs> right? So potentially, I don't know. I don't know if that's in the making of this, but uh, I lost me. What do you mean? All the cards are even? All, well, all the card so numbers the, yeah, are the even. Numbers are even. Oh, so there's oh, okay. room for doubling the deck. Yeah. Yep. Which? Oh God, don't do that. But exchange, like swap out the odd deck for maybe the it would deck. be for the eight-player version. Oh God. <laughs> <please don't. laughs> That's a, a weird... Okay. Thinking of player count, it's interesting to compare it to... Because we played it at three. Mm -hmm. I liked it we, solo, too. For I'll just say that. Go watch the solo yeah. if you want. But the interesting ahead. thing with a free player is that you're cycling two cards out yeah. um, yes. each time, which yeah. I think makes things a bit snappier. Fresher market. Yep. And certainly moves the market quite quickly. It Does, does it go up to five? This? There, yes. there is, yeah, there's yep. a, there's so a five Yeah, and I imagine that moves the market more as well, the extra Play person yes, presence. Yeah. Four may actually be like 
the slowest. slowest. Right. Yeah. Eh, you know, but yeah, I think I again I haven't played it at three or five. I know our group played it at three. Yeah. And like y'all said, personally, I think three or five is probably where this yeah. fits a little bit because then it like moves to, a little. I would like to try it at, yeah. at per, specifically at three. I think so. Mm -hmm. The two yeah. market and the five. I worry that the extra player and thinking about what it is they're doing and everything yeah. kind of offsets right. the churn of that market, so it still might be slower. Yeah. So I feel like three is, mm -hmm. like without it playing it, is probably going to be my sweet spot where I would want this, I would think. And I, for a two-player, I, mm, I know there is... The, the market changes to two, just like in the three-player, but other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot else that changes for the two-player. Uh, playing with two to five players versus solo games. So no, yeah. hmm. the game doesn't change. Yeah. Other, uh, so two is the same as three, four is the same as five in that regard. I wonder if you thought the game was overstaying its welcome a little bit, if you could just like shave ten cards out of the deck and yeah. just make it go a little faster. I, you, you could house rule it to where you could, yeah, yeah, I, sure. totally, yeah. There was a question about ranking this in the 2F Spiele catalog. Uh. I haven't played that many of those games. Uh, I mean, obviously, Power Grid is part of that catalog. Sure. And I would rank that game at the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I think yeah. that's... But this is good. I like it. I think it's better than the the lack of buzz that it got. Mm. I think it, it, it's... Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, it's better than the... Like, I don't know where it ended up being ranked, but it's better than... Mm. I don't know. Dune Imperium. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> We've got to get a dig and do an Imperium in every uh, yeah, show. Is that the rule? We should look forward to a stream. Oh, I think that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I think we should. Craig's got it. Anyway, anything else on this one? Uh, Brianna earlier had said, uh, I thought this was cool. Uh, said, you know, I wasn't interested when I first saw this one, but the playthrough made me a believer. Now I'm going to be picking it up. We're not trying to sell you all on games. We're just, here's a game. Yeah, make your own decision on totally. it. But yeah, I think it's like I said. I think it's better than what what you would think just looking at it. Like, mm -hmm. doesn't exactly. It's not a. I mean, it doesn't say, "Ooh, what's that?" Right, looking at it. But I think the the mechanisms warrant checking into. Yep, looks like a relatively easy teach too. Yeah, it really. Hmm. I mean, I, I think it went pretty mm -hmm. pretty quick, right? It's not. I mean, it's it's a slender rule book. Yeah, and, it's it's really small. I mean, yeah. once you get used to the iconography, which is a, li I mean, it's a little like goofy, mm -hmm. but it is clear. Yeah. For the most part, the the, yeah. the one issue, the one issue is for the reputation for our uh, road connections. Yeah. You know, that's the only you know in settlements. That's the only frustrating well, aspect. Other, the I other have. iconography thing that's I think difficult. Anytime cards are involved, it's hard for me to tell what the heck is going on. Yeah. See, that, those are ones you always have to look up, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Like, and, once you play five or six times, you'll yeah. know what the pirate does, right? Sure, but some of them might have like restrictions that aren't yeah, obvious. That aren't obvious. Yeah. 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 What's but, going on? This uh, one. You can't see it because the oh. cameras. But yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but the nice thing is it, it allows people to learn the game, the rules gradually. It perfectly suits a rolling teach style, right? It really, it really does. It made sense because where a game has like this. So there's something interesting that I've noticed with this game, and I've only played it twice. Oh. I wonder if this would change as it moves forward. But at both times I've played, the person who has passed first has come in fourth. So the ten points is not enough. But maybe if your if your skill levels get a little higher, it may, may not matter. Uh, one well, other thing that changes. That. No, of course. It's because if you've passed first, you've probably been caught bad timing for administration on the last cycle. Sure, that wasn't why. It's. It was because I didn't I didn't have enough point generation in my hand. So the the end game the disasters or uh, cataclysms whatever. Yeah. These do have different player counts, so there's actually eight of those. Uh, uh, four, and you match the four that have your player count in them, okay. so those do change. I don't know what the, uh, what the point distribution is, because ours yeah. was, what, 10, 6, 3, 0 for a four-player? So, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. There you go. That is fam. Uh, big thanks to y'all who watch. Certainly appreciate it. Thanks to these guys for uh, hanging out. Thanks to all the mods. Certainly appreciate y'all hanging out all night. Hi, Jess. Uh, thanks to Rio Grande for the review copy of this. And... Uh, 
I guess thanks Cole for making us break it back out as well as our discussion of the Golden mm. Elephant Award. So that worked out. Cool. So that's it. Uh, podcast, as far as I know, podcast released. Um, so go check that out if you haven't. Uh, you and I mm -hmm. talk a bunch of games. Uh, so that's going to be coming out every couple weeks or so. Uh, also, show is done until a week after next. We're going camping. So we're going to be going. We're going to Maine. Get away from the heat here. God, it's hot. And so we'll be back not next week, but the following week. Anybody got anything else? No. Yeah. All right. If you're saying hi to your Jess, I'm saying hi to my Jess. Okay. There you go. I'm Edward. Ken. Martin. Also, Martin. All right. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Certainly appreciate it. And seriously, Patreon. Keeps the lights on, y'all. Uh, we need patrons to make this show go. So patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. You, you want? Give us your thumbs. So certainly appreciate it. All right. Have a good night, y'all. No one did the Hulk Hogan. That ain't a knife. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That ain't a knife. That's a knife. Right. Yeah. There you go. Damn Crocs. Crocodiles. Four little crocodiles. No. Uh.